Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. The Strongest Royal Group. From the Great Voyage. Chapter 41. Cobra originally wanted to take people there by himself, but seeing Lin being so active, he gave up. Right now, the most important thing is to wipe out the crocodile remnants. After all, after experiencing the turmoil of the national riots and the rebellion of the rebel army, Alabasta could no longer withstand similar torture in a short period of time. And he also has a high level of trust in Lin, believing that Lin will not have any plans for the tombs of his ancestors. Fu. Lin moved quickly. All the power of 10,000 Daoli was activated, making his body look like a rocket being launched. It is difficult for ordinary people to even find his figure, and they will only feel a blur in front of them. Whoosh. In less than a minute, Lin arrived at the place where the royal tomb was. The royal tomb is a large palace built deep underground. At this time, there were several fainted guards at the entrance, and the hidden staircase had already been opened. Is it Robin? Lin's armed color was activated, covering her whole body, and then rushed down. The royal tomb below is not very big, and there is a historical text hidden in it that I don't know if there is Pluton information hidden. Lin is only curious about Pluton, the ultimate weapon that can easily destroy the island with one shot. After all, Lin's ultimate goal is to become the strongest pirate group, not to fight for hegemony in the world. Lin soon arrived at the underground palace, and was immediately shocked by the grandeur in front of her eyes. I have to say that the royal style is still possible. Burn. Suddenly, a violent surge appeared in Lin's shoulders. But soon the inexplicable energy coming from the dark was strongly repelled by armament hockey and bounced away. Lin only saw some pale pink petals spread out in front of her, which was very dreamy. Robin's ability. Did she find me? Lin was a little surprised. Robin's flower flower fruit is indeed a rare fruit. It is created out of nothing, and the flower power that produces petal arms on the target is too difficult to guard against. Fortunately, armament hockey took effect at this time. Of course, even without armament hockey, with only Lin's strength, it would be very difficult for Robin to break his bones. Lin then found Robin too. It turned out that Robin found that his ability didn't work on Lin, so he let out a soft, hey, in a gaff, thus exposing his position. Come out, son of the legendary devil. Lin reached out and pointed, and it was a flying finger that shot towards Robin's hiding place. Crack. The sharp crescent slash cut off half of the pillar, forcing out the beauty hiding behind. Sure enough, it was Robin. Also the most flavorful Robin ever. Lin has always thought that Robin wearing a leather skirt and boots, coupled with a cowboy hat, is the most beautiful of all her dressing styles in the original book. This version, combined with the unique environment of Alabasta, really has the charm of Cleopatra. The sand crocodile has been solved by you. I didn't expect you to be so strong. Robin rolled his eyes, secretly surveyed everything around him, and then said lightly. Since such a powerful sand crocodile was defeated in such a short time, and his flower flower fruit could not be used on the opponent, Robin felt that no matter how hard he struggled, it would be useless. Therefore, she could only think of other ways. Lin seemed to see her concerns. Don't be nervous, I'm not here to arrest you, I have a request, and I will let you go if you agree. Of course, you can also refuse. In that case, I may hand you over to Marine in exchange for some pocket money. Robin's expression turned ugly upon hearing this. Over the years, Marine and world government have been like her nightmares, not only making her look like a dog, but also making her taste all kinds of betrayals and betrayals in the world. She really didn't want to fall into the hands of the Marine or the world government, she still had a wish to fulfill. Okay. Tell me, I really don't want to fall into Marine's hands. Robin sighed. In the future, when I collect all the historical texts of the four road signs, you will help me interpret them. In exchange, I can let you go today. Robin fell silent after listening. It was also a temptation for her. After her hometown was destroyed, for so many years, she can be said to have lived for the historical text, looking for traces of the historical text everywhere. But she also knew that some historical texts had fallen into the hands of extraordinary people, and she couldn't touch them at all. If some rumors were true, there might be a few pieces in the hands of the sea emperors in New World. As for the historical text of the road sign that Lin said, and what is hidden in it, she really wants to know. Good. After half a minute, Robin made a decision. 
This phone bug can contact me. If you lose it, you can also go to a reporter named Shi Bayer from the World Economic News. Okay, you should have finished reading and memorizing the content of this historical text. Let's go, or the king and the others will come over. Lin handed her a phone bug. You don't want to know what it says. It contains some information about ancient weapons, although it's not detailed, it's a bit vague. Seeing him urging him to leave, Robin asked curiously. I'm not interested in these ancient weapons at all. No matter how powerful the ship is, if I'm not strong, it's still useless. If my fist is big, it's really big. Lin's answer surprised Robin. In this world, there are still people who have no interest in ancient weapons. Is there anyone who doesn't want to have this kind of power that destroys the world? You must know that the sand crocodile, for the whereabouts of Pluton, did not hesitate to lurk in this country for many years, and spent countless efforts in various planning. Lin continued, as a pirate, the only thing I'm interested in is the final island and Roger's ultimate treasure One Piece. The battle in the royal palace came to an end quickly. As for cleaning up the battlefield afterwards and chasing down the remnants, Lin left it to Cobra to do it. After all, he was ready to slip away anytime. Although Cobra doesn't care about his identity as a pirate, he respects himself a lot. But after all, Alabasta is the main franchise country of the world government, if it is held accountable by the world government. Lin feels that she will feel a little bit sorry. Also, I have done everything that should be done here, and there is no point in continuing to stay here, and I should move on to the next step of the plan. Lin's desire to become a fourth-ranked captain is very strong. However, who doesn't covet admiral-level combat power? A general's combat strength is the ceiling of this world. True pinnacle. Moreover, Lin doesn't have to worry about Cobra being sanctioned by the world government. After all, the Cobra family is also celestial dragons, but their ancestors refused to move into the holy land of Mariajoy after creating the world government. With this relationship, and if he leaves here, neither the world government nor Marine will embarrass Cobra and his people too much. The next day, at breakfast time, Lin and all the girls gathered together to have a pleasant meal together. Lin, I heard people said that yesterday you were with a very beautiful and romantic lady in a leather skirt. Go pick up girls right after the fight, Lin, are you full of energy? Next time you have to share the housework. Brother Lin, who is that young lady? Xiao Rehe was the most nervous. Is it a new crew member? Don't hide it, introduce us quickly. I wonder what her position is. By the way, Captain, is there any position of mate on your ship? Lin didn't expect that eating breakfast would be uncomfortable, so she could only lie with a guilty conscience, saying that Robin was a spy arranged by herself in the Baroque studio. Ah, the information on Baroque works was all given by her. Ah, I blamed Miss Sister wrongly. I must apologize in person when I have the chance. No wonder you are so predictable, so there are undercover agents. I can't tell, you are honest, and you can play this game. You don't stay with him for a few days, have a meal together or something, and just abandon him when you run out. You are too picky and ruthless. At this time, a soldier came to Lin and rescued him. Lin has to sigh with emotion, as the saying goes, two women play a show, three women make a hundred ducks. Now I have four women by my side, if I continue to recruit new female crew members. All of a sudden Lin feels that everyone is equal. Blessing is not something ordinary people can afford to consume. It turned out to be King Cobra's business. Lin met King Cobra in the temporary palace. It turned out that Cobra wanted to ask Lin how to deal with the sand crocodiles. At first, Lin didn't understand why Cobra was so impatient. After all, he had just won the battle and was in a hurry to deal with the prisoners. After hearing the whole story, Lin realized that there was a reason for it. It turns out that both the world government and naval headquarters called Cobra at the same time this morning, stating that they both want sand crocodiles. Under this kind of double pressure, Cobra was a little bit hard to handle, so he hurriedly asked Lin to discuss it. Lin, who saved Alabasta, is like a savior in his heart. Now he can't wait to discuss all important matters with Lin, and let Lin guide the kingdom forward. Then leave it to them, it's useless for us to keep this sand crocodile. Lin made a decision without even thinking about it. Now that Lin said so, Cobra also followed suit. Immediately, Cobra revealed another piece of news. 
The person who came to take over the sand crocodile and escorted it back was Admiral's candidate T. Dolphin. T. Dolphin. Just him, are there other admirals? Lin stroked her chin. Sure enough, it was time to leave. The T. Dolphin may not be as strong as Admiral, but it is also the one with the best chance of getting close to Vice Admiral. Lin is not afraid of the quasi-admiral's strength, but he is a little afraid of whether the other party will have powerful peers. Like Mamasugi or something. If it wasn't for Ma Yin and Nakiri Arena, Lin might have tried the tea dolphin. Because he was a little curious about the tea dolphin. Judging from the slightly thin physique of the tea dolphin, it should not be a strong physique, but probably a demon fruit power. Regarding the fruit ability of the tea dolphin, Lin also discussed with others before the time travel, there are all kinds of earthy fruits and air pressure fruits. Forget it, it's better to go for the best policy. When the next crew member can be summoned, choose the combatant profession. Shao Hiori, Tsunade, and a combatant with extraordinary strength, tisk tisk, even if you meet Admiral in the future, I can also deal with one or two. What, Your Excellency Lin, are you leaving so soon? We, the Neferutari family, haven't thanked you enough for your kindness. Cobra was dumbfounded when he heard that Lin was going to leave immediately. Even if you have something to do, you don't have to hurry. For a moment, he didn't know what to say. Your Majesty, see you later. Lin left as soon as he said, without any procrastination, even Princess Vivi, who was usually a little clingy to him, didn't have time to say goodbye. Leave like this. Lin, have you really thought it through? Sibel, who got the news, was also a little unacceptable. It was clear that the kingdom had quelled the turmoil. And when it was about to reward the meritorious service, the most important hero left, waved his hand, and didn't even want a dime reward. Ah, my kingdom celebration series is being prepared, but you, the hero, run away. I can't see through this man either. But he behaves so chicly. He doesn't covet the world's glory and wealth at all. His noble character is hard for the world to match. I have to say, Mr. Lin is really a treasure. No matter how I dig, I can find his shining places. Such a man is easy to be addicted to. What should I do? Sibel could not help but sigh inwardly. But immediately, a new inspiration came to her mind. The sun is gentle and the sea breeze is gentle. It's a nice day to bask in the sun. The sea is also quiet, and there are no sea beasts. However, the calm was soon broken by a delicate voice. Wow. Everyone, come and see, Xiaorehe actually has a bounty on offer. 10 million berry. It's amazing, there are so many rewards at the beginning. It's our little cutie. Ah, do we seem to have one? No, it seems that Marine doesn't know how good we are. Hee <laughs> hee. First, Marine, will impress them sooner or later. The king of snipers must offer a reward of 1 billion. I want to surpass Lin, that fool. Main felt a little remorseful. I feel that my bounty can exceed 100,000, which is not bad. Nikiri Arena folded her chest and said. She still has a clear understanding of her weak combat power. But Tsunade clenched his fists and gritted his teeth. I will surpass Lin too. Ma Yin, Sister Tsunade, are you serious? Although the captain doesn't look very good, he still has a reward of 200 million. No, it's 250 million, and this time it's raised to 50 million. Sister Tsunade, you have to work hard. I think Ma Yin has no hope. Give me some confidence. Oh, really? It seems that defeating that sand crocodile is still beneficial. Hey, look, Marine even put a label on the captain, what is it called a supernova? What does supernova mean? I don't understand. It's only 50 million. What kind of bullshit supernova? No, it should be that crocodile is too rubbish. Lin was basking in the sun and drinking fruit juice, he didn't want to get involved in the discussion circle of these eight trigrams women. But when he heard that he was marked as a supernova, but the reward was only increased by 50 million, he couldn't help but curse. To win a seven warlords of the sea, it only adds 50 million. What is the law of heaven? What is your majesty, this is your majesty. You naval headquarters are slapping your father, world government, in the face with such a price. Well, this is what you forced me to do. In this case, he can only release certain information through Sibel, forcing Marine to go. At this time, his reputation has officially broken through the 100,000 mark, rushing towards 120,000, fully meeting the conditions for upgrading to a fourth-level captain. 
but the bounty is still as low as 250 million, which is far from the 1 billion bounty. Not to mention the reward of 1 billion, even the second recruitment quota for level 3 captains is still 50 million short. It is unbearable. If those messages don't work, Lin will choose to take the risk and move on to the next step. Such as smashing the gates of justice, destroying Eni's lobby, beating up celestial dragons and so on. Anyway, as a pirate, there are too many ways for Marine to increase the bounty. However, Marine offered a reward to Xiao Rehe this time, starting with 10 million berry, which surprised Lin a bit. It seems that as her bounty gets higher and higher, the people around her will gradually be noticed by Marine, and their bounty will come sooner or later. However, offering a bounty proves strength, but it also brings unpredictable dangers. After all, there are not only Marines who covet pirates, but also pirate hunters, as well as fellow pirates who are greedy for bounties. Therefore, next, strengthening the strength of the crew is also the top priority. Since you Marines are blind, don't blame me for making trouble. Lin thought for a while, then dialed Sabelle's number. Mr. Lin, are you sure you want to do this? If you do this, you will be caught in endless pursuit. At that time, you will not only face marine and pirate hunters, but you may also face the CP organization of the world government. CP, it's a spy agency that's even harder to defend than marine. After hearing what he said, Sabelle was very worried. Because she knew how dangerous the news would be to Lin. Sabel, you just do it. And I will take some action next, and I will give you an exclusive at that time. I guarantee that the next event will be a big event, and it will be ten times more exciting than it is now. Lin's response made Sabel's eyes brighten. Lin has already made her very satisfied with everything in Alabasta, and it will be ten times more powerful than this. How amazing would that be? Okay Mr. Lin, I will do as you ask. But Mr. Lin, Please take care of yourself and be vigilant at all times, because Sabel wants to witness Mr. Lin become the pirate king and climb to the top of this world. Even, accompanying Mr. Lin to the end of my life. This will be the greatest luck in my life for Sabel. I understand, sorry for the trouble, Sabel. Seeing that she was talking, Lin got lost and hung up the phone quickly. Reporters, are they also Nympho? Naval Headquarters. Sengoku is in a good mood today. Because he received the news from the Tea Dolphin early in the morning, saying that he had successfully received Sand Crocodile and other important people, which made him breathe a sigh of relief. As long as you didn't fight this guy Lin. Sengoku thinks so. Although he also hopes that the Tea Dolphin can arrest that Lin, judging from Lin's easy defeat of the Sand Crocodile, I'm afraid the Tea Dolphin may not have that ability. Compared with arresting Lin, he doesn't want the Tea Dolphin to lose, which will further destroy Marine's prestige. After all, if Admiral's alternate loses, the impact will be ten times greater than that of Marine Vice Admiral. The impact of Huo Shaoshan Vice Admiral's failure last time was enough for Sengoku to drink a pot, if the Tea Dolphin. Bah, bah, bah. How could he be defeated, he is the closest to Admiral's combat power. Immediately, Sengoku dismissed the demoralizing thought. There is no way, Lin has been in the limelight recently. Even this time when the Tea Dolphin went to Alabasta to take over the Sand Crocodile, many local people crowded the streets and scolded them, saying that Marine drove away their hero and saint, and almost got up. A major conflict has started, if King Cobra hadn't appeared in time. Sengoku, what are you so excited about? If we can pry something useful from the sand crocodile's mouth, wouldn't our marines be busy again? Maybe, it's going to be the same as the other time, the commander of the airborne CP came to the headquarters, and then messed around. However, his old buddy Vice Admiral Garp poured cold water on him at this time. Garp, how many times have I said, you can eat senbei at my place, but don't keep using my drawer space for your senbei. Next time you do this, I'll deduct your bonus. Thinking of the previous time when the CP came to the headquarters to act as a dominance and seize the power, Sengoku was obviously hit, and immediately cursed. Yo yo, I'm in a hurry. Crunch. Garp didn't take it seriously, instead he grabbed a handful of senbei and put it in his mouth, chewing vigorously for Sengoku to see. I said, Marshall, we should also work hard in New World. We Marine can't let such a place outside the square. The overlord of the sea has been talking about us all the time, not the emperor of the sea. 
Admiral Akainu spoke at this moment, diverting the topic at once. Yes, Marine was bullied by the four emperors in New World, just like a little toy. Regarding this situation, as the representative of the Hawks in the headquarters, he has been holding back for a long time. Just when Sengoku was about to say something, the secretary held a stack of newspapers that still smelled of ink, pushed open the door and walked in quickly. Look, Marshal. The secretary leaned down and placed the stack of world economic news just received in front of Sengoku. Sengoku didn't look at it, he just stood up. Ooh. The Desert Kingdom War ended, the Supernova Lin defeated the seven warlords of the Sea Sand Crocodile, got the secret about the ancient weapon Pluton. Close black lens bracket. Although the Sand Crocodile fell into Marine's hands, the secret of Pluton in his hand has been snatched by Lin. Close black lens bracket. Lin may have gone to the secret place where Pluton is buried. He has the ambition to become the One Piece, and he vows to get this terrifying weapon. Close black lens bracket. Inventory of the three ancient weapons, each of which is a terrifying existence that can destroy the world. Close black lens bracket. Pluton is the worst warship in history. It is rumored that it has the terrifying power to destroy a huge island with one shot. Close black lens bracket. Pluton was built by skilled craftsmen in the capital of Seven Waters, maybe something can be found here. Inventory of the top 10 famous shipwrights in the city of Seven Waters. Close black lens bracket. Pluton is not in New World, nor anywhere else, but sleeping on an island in the first half of the Grand Line. Close black lens bracket. What Lin defeated the Sand Crocodile and got the news of ancient weapon Pluton, Sengoku didn't take it seriously, thinking that it was just a random story by reporters for the sake of heat. But in other news, when he saw some information about Pluton, he was a little overwhelmed. These are not known by ordinary people. Even in the upper echelons of Marine, no one knows. Except him. Perhaps the only ones who can know are the CP spies sent by the world government to search for Pluton. If he hadn't wanted to communicate and cooperate with CP in this regard, he might not have known about it. In this regard, the world government has hidden it deeply from him, the Marine Marshal. However, this information was just published in newspapers and made known to people all over the world. This kind of shock, for Sengoku, is very huge. As far as he knows, the world government has invested a lot of manpower and material resources in the search for Pluton over the years, and has also obtained relevant clues. Then, it was exposed like this. Then, it was exposed like this. What will happen after that situation, Sengoku thought about it and broke out in a cold sweat. This matter is definitely getting bigger. Contact me Morgans. Sengoku sipped low. He didn't know what kind of news the other party had in his hands, but he couldn't go wrong if he contacted the other party immediately. The situation must not go out of control like this. In this case, CP's plan to recycle Pluton will definitely be disrupted. This is something that the world government has planned for many years. Just as he was about to contact Morgans and apply pressure, a special phone bug on the desk rang. What are you afraid of? Seeing where the phone bug came from, Sengoku couldn't help but curse inwardly. The world government actually called at this time. Moreover, it was the top five elders calling. Obviously, the world government couldn't sit still anymore, and immediately called naval headquarters as soon as they saw the world economic news. Yes. Yes. I understand. I'll do it. Seeing Sengoku nodding his head like a little brother who smashed garlic, Garp looked disdainful again. After a while, Sengoku put down the microphone, then turned around and said to all marine executives, Naval Headquarters has decided to go all out to hunt down the Pirate Lin. At the same time, the bounty of the Pirate Lin has increased to 500 million berry. Also, pass on an order that all marine branches will also fight against the existence of the world economic news with all their strength. Remember one thing, not only the newspaper office, but also other industries in Morgans will be attacked. From now on, Morgans and his members of the news agency are wanted by the world government. Morgans, for the time being, offer a reward of 300 million berry. Also, these are the highest orders of the world government five elders. Please do your best. Yes. Many marine executives stood up quickly and responded in unison. On the other hand, Sakazuki's face was not very good, and he secretly slandered, 
Lousy finally mentioned New World again, but you put your focus on this Lin again. This little thief with a reward of hundreds of millions, what is there to pay attention to? New World is the focus, Marine's face is almost lost there. However, he also remembered the name of Lin, who had done bad things twice. Ding. Congratulations, Lord Host, the bounty has reached 500 million berry, and the second recruitment quota for level 3 captains has been successfully unlocked. Ding. Since Master Host's bounty has reached 500 million berry, and the first crew member's bounty has reached 10 million berry, so the extra reward unlocks the swordsman profession, and the primary gift is upgraded to an intermediate gift. As long as the bounties of the crew members under Master Host's command increase, they will also get relevant rewards. Although the mechanical sound of the system has no emotion, Lin is comfortable to listen to. Finally, it's time to unlock the second recruitment quota for level 3 captains. Marine, make me do this. Although the goal was achieved, Lin was still a little bit resentful. This wave can be described as three folds. Huh. It took him a while to react. This time, the system actually has other rewards. I heard it right, the crew has a bounty, but the system also has rewards. For a while, Lin felt that she was about to develop. In this case, those guys who are at home with 8 trigrams every day, it's time to rush out to upgrade and make trouble. Here, there is a reward for Fungin Rehe, but nothing else. Great upgrade potential. HMPH. Princess Tsunade is so strong, she must be at least 100 million. Although Ma Yin is a bit weak, her sniper skills are not guy. If she has the opportunity to show her off, it will cost 50 million. Shaori and this kind of human-shaped natural disaster, if there is no 300 million, I will not agree. Thinking of Lin in the future, I am very happy. It seems that it won't take long for me to have admiral level combat power. That's right. Get another quota first. After Lin thought about it, she didn't forget the business she was going to do. System, start the recruitment mode. Master host, your vacant positions also include, combatant, boatman, combatant, swordsman, newly unlocked. Open the recruitment of swordsman. Conditions, the strength is no less than mine, good looking, obedient, usually quiet. Between fighters and swordsmen, Lin chose swordsman. There was no way, because he felt that the newly unlocked profession should be more fragrant. Otherwise, why do you need to upgrade the bounty to unlock it yourself? It must be a good job. Moreover, with the ability of Op Op Fruit, he will also need a sword to assist him in using his surgical ability in the future, so he is still half a swordsman. So he took a fancy to the new profession of swordsman at a glance. Received. The god level recruitment function is being activated for you, master host, and you are searching for a female swordsman who is suitable for host in 10,000 worlds. Please wait a moment, host. The system started immediately, and after 5 minutes, a list of available recruits was listed. 1. Red Pupil 2,600 points. 2. Urza 3,200 points. 3. Kanzaki Kaori 2,200 points. 4. Artoria Pendragon 4,800 points. 5. Asuna 1,700 points. The system is still searching. Huh. The list this time is quite luxurious. But it seems to be a bit perfunctory. Asuna's strength, even in the game, is far behind me. Lin was a little pleasantly surprised to see the five female swordsmen selected for the primary. Except for Asuna, the other four can bring him a lot of help. I have to say that the system is quite powerful this time, and all the players selected are strong players. Oh, and these girls are also big beauties with bursting bodies. Um, maybe Artoria is excluded. In this regard, Lin has to say, system, yyds. Akahito, the heroine of the red slashing world, owns Taigu, one-hit kill Murasama, and even Queen Asidus, who is an enemy of the country in the original book, fell under her sword. She is a very powerful female swordsman. Murasama's demon sword comes with a one-hit kill buff, which is very attractive to Lin. I just don't know if the power of this demon sword can fully exert its kill buff in the world of pirates with different rules. And Urza, an S-class mage, is also one of the strongest female swordsmen in the fairy tale world, and is also known as the fairy queen. Its trick is to instantly summon the weapons and armor collected in the magic space to change clothes for battle. Of course, it can also change different clothes on weekdays. 
Thinking of Urza's usual stunning outfits in the original book, Lin also had the urge to choose her. Not for anything else, just to add to the fun when there is a beautiful and romantic girl to perform at the banquet. Kanzaki Kaori, the top 10 magician in London in the Forbidden World, is also the former female pope and one of the saints of the Amakusa-style cross-desolate religion. Possesses the penultimate swordsmanship of seven days and seven knives, and is good at physical strengthening white soldiers combined with magic. Arturia Pendragon, the heroic spirit in the world of fate, has a very powerful sword of vowed victory. By the way, she also has a writing skill. It seems that choosing her is equivalent to choosing two, with a coxswain. Ah. It's hard to choose, I like them all. And the points are enough. The strength of Urza and Artoria should be similar to that of Admiral, at the same level. Then, choose between these two. Other girls, it's not that I don't like you, but that they are really better, sorry. Just when Lin was about to make a decision. He already has, navigator, ship doctor, cook, and sniper and swordsman. Then there are only three positions that can be recruited next, helmsman, combatant, and boatman. Just when Lin made up her mind, she had to choose between Urza and Artoria. However, at this moment a sudden change occurred. Artoria considered again and again and rejected your recruitment. Due to personal reasons, Urza cannot leave this world for the time being, so she also rejected your recruitment. Huh. Hey. Lin was a little dazed, and it was the first time that she was rejected by two targets at once. But it makes sense to think about it. Artoria is a heroic spirit after all, so her first choice is naturally to summon her master, so it is normal to hesitate. As for Urza, I don't know if the fairy tale guild is going to face some difficulties. It seems that recruiting this kind of thing will not be smooth sailing. Ding. Master host, please wait a moment and continue to choose suitable targets for you. A few minutes later, the system added three lists. 1. Red Pupil 2600 points. 2. Kanzaki Kaori 2200 points. 3. Asuna 1700 points. 4. Okita Soji 3300 points. 5. General Thunder 5200 points. 6. Teresa 2800 points. The newly recruited target is Okita Soji, Shadow. The system is fine. When seeing the three new lists, Lin was taken aback for a while, and continued to be overjoyed. Okita Soji, like the previous Artoria, is still a heroine in the world of fate. She possesses powerful sword skills and is sharp in one-on-one -on -one combat, but she has a sick and weak flaw. Step is weak, and Sanbu forgets words. She is a female swordsman with obvious advantages and disadvantages. General Raiden, also known as Balzabu, from the world of the original gods, one of the seven gods of Tivat, and the god who protects Dawa City. Teresa, the number one fighting force in the world of Great Sword, half-human, half-demon existence. But it doesn't matter anymore, Lin chose General Thunder almost instantly. Who would have thought that a god would appear in the supplementary target this time? Is there any other choice? Don't even think about it. General Thunderbolt is considering. However, the third blow of being rejected seemed to come again, leaving Lin a little speechless. Hateful. As the saying goes, there are no more than three things. But it's normal to think about it, the other party is a god after all, and with the majesty of General Thunder and Lightning, he is high above the ground, always calling others stupid questions, and building those who offend her into a god statue, so naturally he will not accept recruitment from mortals. System, tell her for me that I can help her avoid wear and tear and find the eternal truth. Or, arrange for us to meet. Lin didn't give up, and could only persuade the other party based on what she knew. But, General Lei Dian thinks that you are a mere mortal and have absolutely no ability to do what you said, so he rejected this recruitment. The feedback from the system made Lin a little unacceptable. The only god that had ever appeared was just missed. Hateful. It seems that the only choice is Okita Soji, the weak swordsman. Teresa is such a cold-blooded murderer, Lin really can't handle it. However, just when Lin was a little frustrated and was about to set his sights on other target candidates, there was another system prompt. Ying has become interested in what you said, and wants to agree to your recruitment this time, so as to reach a recruitment contract. Huh. The sudden surprise made Lin feel a little panicked. Who is the shadow? That is General Thunder's, soul. 
In other words, Shadow is the real Thor. In order to avoid physical wear and tear, she created the puppet of General Thunder and Lightning. In order to avoid spiritual wear and tear, she created a self-space Yixin Pure Land, where she hides in meditation every day. Therefore, what Lin said just now hit her vital point and moved her. It is really the Mulberry Elm that is lost in the East. Ding. The contract between Master Host and Shadow has been completed, and the cross-border transmission is in progress. Following the system's prompt, the teleportation stargate opened in front of Lin again. After half a sound, a purple-haired girl with a mysterious temperament came out of the teleportation stargate. She has beautiful facial features, a pair of purple pupils are deep and gorgeous, there is a tear mole at the corner of her right eye, her long dark purple hair is tied into a braid and hangs behind her back, she is wearing a chic kimono that is parted to the shoulders and has a very short hem, plus the black stockings that extended to her thighs revealed her extremely fine figure. Thunder God Shadow. True gods. Unexpectedly, he was fooled by himself like this. Lin had the illusion of being hit by a big pie in the sky. However, he is not completely fooled. Regardless of whether the op-op fruit he has mastered can perform the immortal surgery, or the conqueror's hockey, which is extremely beneficial and inspiring to spiritual practice in this world, can play a role in the future of this thunder god. You're Lin. Ying looked at Lin curiously. She really didn't expect that since the catastrophe happened, she would one day be chosen by mortals and become their partner. Of course, if it weren't for Lin's god-level recruitment that could directly contact her, it seemed mysterious and unfathomable, and even she couldn't trace the source and origin, and couldn't deduce anything. Then she would be the same as General Thunder, and would not be said move. My name is Lin, and I'm also your captain. Welcome Yingying to this dream world, where you will get what you want. Now that he was bluffing, then let's bluff to the end, Lin simply thickened his skin and continued to draw big cakes. I can find what I want in this world. I feel a little stuck. And Ying is not a fledgling kid. She has lived a very long time and experienced many ups and downs. Words are easily fooled. Okay, let's not talk about this for now, I will take you to meet our partners. Lin can only perfunctory first, and talk about it later. In secret, he flipped through his attribute panel to check Ying's strength evaluation. If you don't look at it, it's enough, even he is stunned. Comprehensive strength. S. Level. It seems that it is not as strong as expected. Although let the system choose people according to their own strength, if they can pick an S level person, it is already considered very good, and they can't be too picky. But this S class still made Lin a little disappointed. After all, Ying is a real god, not a thunder puppet or something. By the way, what's the matter with the question mark at the back? Lin quickly asked the system. By the way, what's the matter with the question mark at the back? Lin quickly asked the system, and also asked if Ying's strength had been weakened. Back to host, the question mark in the comprehensive strength rating means uncertainty. This is uncertain. In addition to the possibility of showing excellent growth, it may also have the possibility of a big explosion and a short-term improvement. Thunder God's shadow is a god from the Tivat continent, and the Tivat continent is a colorful world made up of seven elements, so the gods born there will all rely on the elemental power and laws of that world. So when the shadow travels to this world, it will be restricted by the laws of this world, and its strength will be weakened. After a long period of adaptation, this aspect will change. After all, she is a god who masters the laws of thunder and lightning. Master Host can also help her in this regard, allowing her to adapt to the laws of this world faster. After listening to the system's explanation, Lin felt fine. Although it's not ridiculously strong, it's finally Admiral level combat power, and it's still a growth type. Still very promising. But, you are too familiar with it. When Lin came back to her senses, she found that Ying had become one with Nakiri Arena and the others who were having afternoon tea. Oh, Sister Ying, eat slowly, there are still a lot here. Yeah, I'll do it without me. It's very simple, just open it up and eat it. Arena Sama has contracted your dessert today. I didn't expect you, Sister Ying, to like desserts so much, just like Xiao Rehe. Um, Xiao Rehe carrot carrot. Hum, um, Lei Shenying carrot carrot. I found a problem with the captain. The crew he recruited seemed to be all beauties. Why isn't there even a man? 
and the girls he recruited are all very hard-working girls. This lazy captain. Use points to tempt us to do this and that every day. HMPH. I, Ma Yin, also found out. Ma Yin agreed with this sentence, and continued, Shish, I've read Arena's comic books, and it seems that this kind of behavior is called opening a harem in it. And they said that every man should have an emperor's dream. Quote. Cut. I don't want to be a concubine, freedom is what I want, and I don't want to be trapped in a golden cage. Yes. Resolutely boycott this LSP captain. Don't let his plot succeed. There shouldn't be any fallen people in us, after all, everyone is a hard-working worker, so they don't think too much. Besides, this boss is a hateful capitalist. Anyway, I, Ma Yin, only want to become stronger, and then go back to complete the holy revolution and bury that decaying empire. I won't, won't think about it for the time being. No way, no way. Who likes this captain and who is a dog? Um, Hiori asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. Main. Arena. Tsunade. Ying. Um, Lin. Hey, I'm just listening, just treat me as transparent, and make all kinds of complaints, almost got you he. After the afternoon tea time, Lin called all the girls for a small meeting. He is ready to strengthen the strength of the women. The first choice of targets is naturally Ma Yin and Nakiri Arena. The physical fitness of these two guys is a bit ridiculous for Pirate World. I'm afraid that if there is any disturbance, they will be severely injured or even die. So, next, Lin wants to use the mid-level gifts to give them a certain amount of power. As a primary gift, only some skills can be given to the crew. However, the middle-level gift can improve the power of physical fitness, or the gift of attributes. As long as the two of Ma Yin have enough power to activate armament hockey, they will have the real life-saving strength. Moreover, after they become stronger, Marine 6 styles can also be given away. In that case, the strengthening plan is perfectly completed, and Lin doesn't need to worry anymore. What? You want to bestow power on us? Wait, how did you give something like Dao Li? It's incredible. Both Ma Yin and Nakiri Arena exclaimed. Don't worry about it so much, you just need to sign this new agreement. Lin bared her teeth and produced a new agreement. Oh my god. It also includes the cost of Marine 6 styles, so I will become your lifelong crew member. I can't go back to UNEU Academy. Woo, I want to go back to Revolution, I don't want to stay on this boat for the rest of my life. Seeing the sad faces on their faces, but they signed without any hesitation, Lin was a little speechless. Women are often duplicity. HMPH. I, Ma Yin, want to become the strongest sniper in this world. I want to offer a reward of 1 billion. After signing, Ma Yin felt that she could do it again and was full of energy. In this way, I won't be so tired from cooking in the future, right? It's still that arena is not so aggressive. After becoming stronger, the first thing she thinks about is cooking. You are indeed a good chef with professional ethics. The gift of Tao power is not the same as the copy gift of skills, but the real giving of one's own things to others. Therefore, even if Lin wants them to become stronger quickly, she will not give up too much of her strength. His current Tao value is 10,506. So he only took out a fraction of 500, and then distributed it to the two daughters of Ma Yin, 250 each. There is no way, after all, he still needs to maintain at least Admiral's alternate level combat power, and if he adds the op op fruit ability, he will be able to calmly face Admiral. 250. 2 250. Captain, you did it on purpose. Lin you are so bad, you are 250. When the two women knew the power value they had obtained, they all waved small fists at Lin angrily. Lin said that she was a little wrong, whoever made her a fraction of 500 was really not intentional. After the second daughter got 250 power, she immediately started washing the marrow and cutting the veins, and a lot of impurities were washed out. They were so ashamed that they hurried back to the room to take a shower. Lin, what about me? I need some power too. Tsunade seemed to enjoy seeing the two daughters humming and screaming while washing the marrow and cutting the pulse, so they also came up. Princess Tsunade, you are already very strong, and you don't need to gain power. How about giving you Marine 6 styles? With your physical fitness, your combat power will definitely go up to a higher level. Maybe, you could be the next pale yellow beast of Kanahagakur. 
Lin joked, suddenly thinking of the idea that he had thought about before time travel. Guy in the Hokage world, after opening eight inner gates, is the pinnacle of physical skills, so strong that he can even distort the space, and even kicked out Uchiha Madara, almost kicking out the finale. Of course, the sequelae of fully opening the eight gates are also extremely serious. Kakashi once said that people who open the eight gates will die. Although Guy was later rescued by Naruto with yin and yang, he was basically useless. And Tsunade has the two pervert skills of ninja art, meiotic regeneration and baihao technique, as well as the assistance of hundred healings mark. With the combination of these three advantages, can it avoid the fatal ending of eight gate? Also, the setting in the original book is that the eight inner gates consume vitality. What if Tsunade's physique is cultivated to the level of a monster here, plus his own immortal surgery blessing? Undoubtedly, the ageless surgery will definitely bring extremely surging vitality to the recipient, otherwise it will not be possible to achieve immortality. Thinking about it, Lin thinks the feasibility is quite okay. Don't think about that for now, at least you have to have the skills of eight inner gates, otherwise everything is empty talk. Thanks for the hospitality. Sister Ying, eat some more. At this time, Ying finally ended her dim sum fight, but Xiao Rahe didn't seem to want to end yet. Lin was a little speechless. These two dessert fanatics ate at least 80% of the large table of desserts made by Nakiri Arena. Xiao Rihe is almost equal to rebirth, childish temper, likes to eat desserts Lin expressed understanding. But this demon god who has lived for at least a thousand years, why are you like a child? At this time, Lin remembered that she once said that don't be afraid of tooth decay because of desserts, at worst, it's just a change of teeth. It seems to be quite normal. Ying, who is satisfied with the dessert, still doesn't look like a steady lady, but like a curious baby, asking Xiao Rahe and Tsunade a lot of questions. So this is a world where pirates run rampant. Are we pirates? Are pirates good or bad? Oh, so it's on the Grand Line, so what's the comm belt? What kind of person is our captain? Does he have a girlfriend? Sure enough, it is the same as the original character design, this senior house girl who has been in the house for many years is just a curious baby, curious about all new things. But this is very good. If the majestic general came over instead, the atmosphere would not be so harmonious. Ahahaha. So this is moonwalk. It feels so good to walk in the air. It's a pity that the quiet atmosphere was quickly broken by Ma Yin who had changed her clothes. I saw that guy stepping on the moonwalk to the sky as soon as he came out, smiling so proudly in the sky. Arena, you come up too. Seeing that Arena was also coming out of the room, she hurriedly invited him along. Snapped. Arena stepped on the moonwalk timidly, and gradually became excited. As long as they are human beings, they will yearn for the sky and fly. But now, he has mastered the profound meaning of flying, and can travel to the sky anytime and anywhere. This feeling is really exciting. The two just played in the sky like this, laughing so happily. The human beings here are too amazing. You can fly in the sky with your own strength without the help of elements. Even Lei Shenying was taken aback. This world is so worth exploring for me. Forget it, let's treat it as a dream trip or I should put down some of Dao wife's things and live for myself for a while. Anyway, the general can handle everything by herself. Maybe this will give me a better understanding of eternity. Ying bit his lower lip and thought to himself. After all, she has been meditating in Yixin pure land for so long, and it seems that she is not making much progress. Might as well change the method. Of course, assuming this guy named Lin didn't lie to himself. Come down quickly. Moonwalk consumes a lot of stamina. Lin was a little speechless, these two living treasures who seem to have never seen the world. With your little power, it's a miracle that you can last for two minutes. Sure enough, not long after, the two couldn't hold on any longer, and hurried to the boat. But Nahi was too smug before, and ran a little farther. As a result, when they were still more than ten meters away from the ship, the two fell into the sea with a, plop. Fortunately, the physical fitness of the two of them is very important now. If you persevere, you can swim back by yourself. Wu. Ma Yin wants to cry but has no tears. However, it's still fun. We'll come again next time. Nakiri Arena was quite happy. Hey. Arena, why do you seem to be a little older? 
It was only after falling into the sea and getting wet that Ma Yin discovered her blind spot of negligence. She is an ace sniper with excellent eyesight and memory. Ah, it seems to be a little bit, just because of the strength given by the captain just now. Ma Yin, what are you talking about? I'm going to change clothes. Nikiri Arena ran away after finishing speaking. Then why haven't I changed? Captain, are you sure it's 2 250? Mine must be less. Angrily, Ma Yin went to ask Lin on the side for an explanation. People have changed, but I have not changed, there is obviously a problem. Nothing wrong. Sure, both of you are 205. No more, no less. Lin's deadpan Kaido. Sailing on the Grand Line, there are sunny days, but there are also many storms, thunder and thunder. Just as Lin and others were heading towards the next destination, Gaia Island, a terrible storm came. This very terrible storm covered the entire sky with heavy black clouds, turning day into night all of a sudden. The strong wind that could almost break the mast was howling, and the huge waves on the sea surface wave after wave. Thunder and lightning flashed from time to time, shining on the surging black sea waves, like the mouths of deep sea monsters suddenly opening. At this time, the ship was walking among them, as insignificant and powerless as a leaf, which could be swallowed up every minute. Wow, that's scary. The big storm is still coming, but it's okay. We sailed smoothly for several days this time. It's all good weather. If the demon fruit power is here, I'm afraid I will be scared out of my guts. This storm, it feels stronger than the one that passed Little Garden last time. However, the people on the Lin boat did not panic at all when they saw this force of nature that can make ordinary people pee. Instead, they made various comments and were very calm. You. Why are you so calm? Shadow is a little curious. She is a god and possesses the power of a god, so she can naturally calm down in the face of storms at sea. But Tsunade these are just mortals. No matter how powerful you are, can you still stand against such a huge force of nature? In the dark, several ways to weaken the weather flashed through Shadow's mind. What she controls is the true meaning of thunder. Sometimes a rage can set off a terrifying thunderstorm. Naturally, there are ways to weaken the thunderstorm. But there is a problem. The laws of this world are completely different from those of Tivat, and the restrictions on her are not small. She was really not sure if she could cut a safe passage for this ship. Just when she was running her divine power secretly, ready to strike at any time. This is because we have little angels. Little Hiori, come on. Ma Yin pointed to Xiao Hiori who was warming up. Sun and Saintus. Must win. Must win. Nikiri Arena even acted as a passionate cheerleader beside her. Huh. She. Can you. Ying was a little surprised to see that they pinned their hopes on Feng Yin Rehe who seemed to be a cute and ignorant person. Because Xiao Rehe likes desserts as much as she does, she is very pleasing to this little cutie. But I didn't expect that it would have the ability to change the weather. Therefore, Shadow subconsciously used some of his perceptual abilities. However, there was a new discovery immediately, her body structure is a bit strange, beyond my cognition. Not only her, but also this one they called Sister Tsunade. There is even a strange energy flowing in her body, as if she doesn't belong to this world. There is another kind of energy that belongs to this world, which should be the armament hockey they call. I heard that they came from different worlds like me, and they were all tricked by Lin. These people are very interesting. Ying's thoughts were like lightning, but her divine power was flowing in her body. Hey, where's Lin? Is she still sleeping? Suddenly, Yingkai remembered that someone was not there. With a little induction, you can hear a slight snoring sound somewhere. Really? Shadow was speechless. Don't you trust your crew so much in the face of this terrible storm? Or because I'm here, you have nothing to worry about. Alas, what a trouble, for you to know that I am a god. You are indeed the lazy captain who was complained about by your crew. Just as Shadow sighed, there was a sudden change on the deck. Demeter. With Feng Yin Rehe's soft call, bursts of brilliance poured out of her body, and she completed the gorgeous angel transformation in just an instant, with a pair of pale pink wings spreading out, carrying a sacred aura. Huh. What kind of change is this? Shadow was a little surprised. It's not that I have never seen a transformation, but after seeing the transformation, I can faintly connect with the air mechanism of heaven and earth. It was the first time she saw it. 
This kind of harmonious resonance connection with the air mechanism of heaven and earth, apart from the maintainers of heaven and earth, there are only gods. Is she also a god? Or a demigod? But I didn't find a trace of divine power from her. Shadow shook his head, denying himself. At this time, Feng Yin Rehe began to control the weather, and she raised the angel scepter in her hand high, and a small elemental ball in the middle of the crescent moon of the scepter gave birth to high-speed cloud claws, and emitted bursts of light. The glorious light pierced into the sky, dispelling the darkness. And Feng Yinri and her whole body also emitted bursts of bright light, as if she was in a big ball of light. It can actually interfere with the sky in a radius of more than 20 miles. Wind, rain, lightning, air pressure, sea surface. It is all aspects of interference and manipulation. Then Ying saw a scene that made her extremely unforgettable. At this moment, the darkness in front of him was broken into a bright road. The dark clouds are receding, the strong wind is subsiding, the thunder and lightning are also subsiding, and even the rough sea is softening. At this time, the dazzling sun appeared again in the sky, and even sprinkled golden sunlight, making this flight path that had disappeared in the wind look very eye-catching. Yes, besides the light on both sides, there are still dark clouds, violent storms, thunder and lightning, and violent waves one after another. This is a miracle. Shadow couldn't help admiring. Even she may not be able to achieve such a subtle manipulation here. This trip to another world is absolutely wonderful. Perhaps we will find the real eternity as Lin said. Touch the real law of heaven. And the next moment, her purple pupils suddenly brightened, clear and flawless, full of firmness. Lin, maybe you are my fate. The sea and sky were like ink, and the storm intensified. A large ship was struggling in it, but the situation seemed to be not good. Many facilities on the ship were damaged by the storm. Captain Kidd, we're about to give up. Only the last mast is broken. Captain Kidd. Our rudder is also damaged. Captain Kidd, what should we do? Die. I didn't expect that we would die in the first half of paradise, not the second half of new world. Be brave, don't yell like a fool, Captain Kidd is notoriously bad-tempered, you are courting death. Although the ship was in chaos and morale was dropping rapidly, the red figure at the bow was still silent. He has a red hedgehog hairstyle on his head, a pair of black sunglasses, no eyebrows, and very fierce eyes. Pirate Supernova, Eustace Kid. The pirates from South Blue are also terrifying existences with a bounty of 31,700 berry. Kid. Calm down. We'll get through this. Standing beside him was a blonde man wearing a blue and white mask. Seeing his body trembling slightly, he knew that he was on the verge of going berserk, so he quickly spoke to comfort him. Kira. Kid's partner since childhood. He is also the only person Kid can rely on, and only he can make the cruel and violent Kid change slightly. Kira. The Kid took a deep breath, resisting the urge to slaughter the panicked crew. Captain, look behind. What is that? It seems that the wind and rain have become smaller over there. At this time, the watchman sent an important message, so Kid and Kira hurried to the highest point of the cabin and looked behind. If you don't look at it, you're done. When you look at it, both of them are stunned. Not only them, but even the members of the Kid pirates on the entire ship also discovered this spectacle, and the panic atmosphere gradually subsided. It's incredible. I saw a boat riding the wind and waves, and wherever it went, the clouds in the sky receded, the wind and rain stopped, the thunder and lightning disappeared, and the bright sun spread down. It is as if it has opened up a safe golden road on the stormy sea. Is that human being? It's the girl holding the scepter. She's so beautiful. She's so divine. What devil fruit ability is this? It's amazing. Look at those wings, they must be angel fruits. I just don't know which branch they are from. She is my angel. My faith. Soon, the pirates of the kid pirates saw the girl on the bow deck of the ship, and there was another uproar immediately. But at this time, what are you still doing in a daze, lean the boat over and follow it. At this time, Kira yelled loudly, which made them wake up like a dream. Hurry up. Move, you fool. Anyone who dares to slack off will be killed by me. Full left rudder, lean over at full speed. The same thing happened afterwards. In this way, Lin's ship was followed by several pirate ships. Lin's boat is a bit small, but she is like the boss with those huge pirate ships, just like a little chick with a flock of eagles, the scene looks a bit awkward for a while. 
Fortunately, the storm didn't last long. After more than an hour, it began to weaken or even dissipate. Those boats that followed Lin did not overtake Lin's boat, but still followed behind, well behaved. Of course, there were also reasons why their masts and other equipment were damaged by the storm, and they were afraid of another storm. But more than that, they are very grateful for Lin's kindness in rescue this time, and they dare not offend them in the slightest. And Lin, who woke up, was a little dazed when he came out after eating breakfast and saw so many boats behind his buttocks. What's going on? What are these ships doing? Lin yawned, then asked Tsunade, who was at the helm. Yesterday we encountered a storm, and then Xiao Rehei, they followed all the way, but they didn't catch up. It's strange. Tsunade explained. Huh. These guys, what are you trying to do? You won't covet my little Hiori. Lin scratched her head, thinking badly. Huh. Whoever dares, I'll give you a discounted leg. I'm just worried that I won't be able to raise the bounty. He said viciously. Maybe Marine hasn't had a lot of years in the near future, and he happened to focus on those powerful pirates, such as supernovas and so on. Judging from the original book, killing a few more supernovas can also increase the bounty. Sailing all the way without any surprises or dangers, this group of chickens and eagles finally sailed into the Magic Valley town of Gaia Island safely. Magic Valley Town is a gold-selling cave for pirates, a paradise for pirates, where as long as you are willing to spend money, you can get all kinds of enjoyment. Because the pirates spend money like water, the entertainment industry here is very developed, with all kinds of sensuality. It is also because almost all the people here are pirates, so this place is also a bloody hell, where life and death can be seen everywhere, and corpses are lying around. Lin found a pier to dock the boat, and then she was going to take the girls around to experience the atmosphere here. Just judging from the fact that the charge was ten times higher than the usual port guard fee, it can be seen that this place is indeed a high standard gold selling cave. But fortunately, as long as you are willing to spend money here, you can not only live in a safe, quiet, elegant and comfortable villa, but also provide first class services and supplies. Lin, who has a lot of money and doesn't know where to spend it, naturally won't treat her crew badly. However, just as Lin was about to enter Magic Valley Town after taking care of the ship's care and maintenance, he found a group of people waiting for him on the other side of the pier. You looking for me? Although there are girls in this group of people, but all of them look vicious, and one can tell at a glance that they are not easy to mess with. And the next moment, this group of vicious-looking pirate leaders all saluted Feng Yin Rehe behind Lin, thanking them endlessly. Some even offered extremely high salaries and invited Feng Yin Rehe to be navigators on their ships. There is even a desire to join the Lin pirates and become its affiliated pirates in return for saving their lives. It's okay for you to embarrass me, but it's too much to poach people in front of me. Lin was a little annoyed, and then sent them away with a few words and a cold face. But some of these guys are like dog skin plaster, and they want to continue pestering. Then Lin couldn't take it anymore, and punched a huge rock at the entrance, trying to scare them. Yo, that's it. Look at me. Little brother, this is the grand line, what's the point of exploding rocks? I'll show it off too. However, Lin didn't expect to deter them. Instead, these guys followed suit, blowing up all the huge rocks that were displayed at the entrance of Magic Valley Town. Hey. I can hit 10 more stones like this. Drink. Extremely easy. Miss Angel, you can add more to the conditions I gave. Hey, where are people? Just after they finished the show, they found that Lin and the others had slipped away at some point. You country folks. Do you know who opened Magic Valley Town? Have you heard of Heavenly Yaksha Doflamingo? His old man also has shares here. Hurry up and lose money, 10 million berry for one stone. Wow. Just this rotten stone is worth 10 million berry, you might as well grab it. Hey, see if I can grab you. Ah, don't hit me, I'll give it. I'll give it. Why are the gatekeepers here so strong? Ah, stop fighting. Surrender. Idiot, our gatekeepers are not strong, can these stones be sold for 10 million berry? Lin took the girls and went directly to the most expensive seaside villa area in Magic Valley Town, and rented a super large villa. He is not tired from the long sea voyage, but Ma Yin and the others may not be able to bear it. So he wanted to rest here for a few days, maintain the boat well, and then set off again. 
there was one more thing he had to think about. That is, after tossing all the way, now there is something wrong with his own boat. Even if it can be maintained this time, there is a hidden danger after all. I heard that the environment in New World is even worse. If you go to New World in the future, you must change to a better ship. At least it must be made of Adam's sacred wood like the original Luffy and the others. Only such a ship can ride the wind and waves in the New World without worrying about wear and tear. This is another large amount of money. Fortunately, the money is enough. When I go to the capital of Seven Waters, I will look for that iceberg. If possible, by the way, get the blueprint of the Pluton battleship from Bingshan and Frankie. They are too weak to bear such a big burden, so let me bear it. In a flash, Lin thought of another way to increase her bounty. With a few guys from CP9 who have been lurking for several years to cooperate with the performance, this time the world government may explode. Wow. So luxurious. The sofa is so soft. Look, this big floor-to-ceiling window allows you to see hay. Under the leadership of the butler, Lin and the others quickly entered the villa they rented. Ma Yin yelled as soon as she entered, and even jumped onto the sofa to roll around. I didn't expect that there are such modern buildings in this world. For a moment, I thought I had returned to my side. Even Nakiri Arena was deeply moved. It's really dazzling. It's a wonderful world, although I prefer my house over there. Shadow and Tsunade also nodded in agreement. After settling down, Lin took the group out, took them to dinner, and then went shopping. The amount for this event is 500,000 berry per person. Lin announced. Long live the captain. Yo, it's fine, 200,000 berry more than last time. Did the captain do something wrong to compensate us? However, it's not enough to buy more expensive luxury goods, captain. Give me an extra half a million yuan. Yes. The jewelry last time was only 5 million berry, I can't even afford it. Hey your head. If you don't like bargaining again, let's drop it back to the original standard of 300,000. Lin said indifferently. Sure enough, this group of women couldn't be used to it. Here, only my family's showery and guai, who always hand over the money back to me for storage. After shopping, Tsunade suggested going for a drink, and the group then headed to the big bar in town. I was very excited when I went there, but when I got to the bar, Lin felt that she shouldn't come. This bar is the same as in the original book, still so full of bloody smell. When a group of people came over, they saw the waiter dragging the body of a dead pirate and throwing it into the street. Ma Yin, Tsunade and Kajemi are used to life and death, so it's okay, but Nakiri Arena and Kazan Hiori were a little surprised. But with Alabasta's experience, they recovered quickly. It may be early, so there are not many people in the bar, and it is not so noisy. After sitting down and ordering wine and drinks, Lin and the others chatted in a relaxed manner. Because Tsunade and others are too beautiful and amazing, the position of Lin and others immediately became the focus of the whole bar. Are you Lin who offered a reward of 500 million berry? Just when Lin and the others were chatting happily, a person came over and broke Lin's identity. Some people around recognized this person and whispered. It's Rossio the executioner, offering a reward of 42 million berry. Oh my god, it turned out to be him. I heard that he has hunted several pirates with a bounty of more than 30 million in the past few days, and even one with a bounty of 50 million. However, isn't he a little overwhelmed to provoke someone with a bounty of 500 million? Shish. You are crazy and loud, this Rokio is very petty, be careful he will trouble you later. HMPH. How can this Lin, there are so many beauties as female companions, it's normal for someone to find fault with him. Tisk tisk. He has every type of female partner, and they are all the best of the best. I really envy this fool. It's true, the best-looking geisha in this town, compared to any of them, has become a vulgar fan, and there is no comparison at all. So, I support Rokio the executioner. Yes. I hope Rokio can give this Lin a good beating. Look at you. Just when everyone was discussing and thinking that there would be a good show, a figure flashed in front of Rossio. Don't disturb our benefactor. After saying that, the figure punched suddenly, and knocked the unstoppable Rossio out of the bar. Huh. Who is this? It's the Sirius from North Blue, with a bounty of 80 million berry, I heard it's an animal fruit capable person. 
shooting the executioner Rokio into the air and knocking him out with one punch, that's so strong. When did Lin and the others become the benefactors of this serious? It didn't take more than a minute from Rossio's provocation to serious attack. Lin and others were surprised when they were about to thank the Sirius who made the shot, but the other party bowed respectfully and then left. For a while, the bar was quiet, and no one dared to mess with Lin. However, when going back to the villa, Lin saw another person she knew at the entrance of the villa complex, Bellamy the Hyena. Compared with him who beat Luffy fiercely in the original book, the current appearance is really miserable. The whole person seemed to be run over by a big truck, dying like a lump of mud. I don't know who has repaired him severely. After returning to her own villa, Lin learned from the butler who was waiting at the door, who looked bruised and swollen. It turned out that the Bellamy pirates took a fancy to the villa Lin rented. They wanted to move in forcibly and throw away Lin and others' belongings. The butler couldn't stop them. The pirate made a sudden attack, and severely punished Bellamy and the others. That's right. They also asked me to convey something to Feng Yinri and the little girl. That's. The housekeeper hesitated to speak. E.H. It's okay to say it. Lin told him it didn't matter. They said that if that Lin treats Rahei girl badly in the future, they will invite Rahei girl to come to them, and the treatment will be more than ten times that of that Lin. I won't leave brother Lin. I won't be treated a hundred times. Xiao Rahei grabbed the corner of Lin's clothes and awkwardly expressed his loyalty. Okay, okay, you go down. Lin was a little speechless, and asked the butler to retreat. That brainless and explosive kid has learned how to poach people. That's a bit messed up. Lin, after I came here, I always felt some indescribable feeling, just now. At this time, Ying suddenly said to Lin, looking a little confused. There is always some intuition. Just now, it happened again. Lin is a little strange. You are a god, you can't even explain your feelings, so I, a mortal, can help you. But Lin soon had a flash of inspiration and thought of a possibility. Could it be? Absolutely. Things that can make you feel something may be on it. Lin pointed to it and said. Shadow is the god of thunder, who holds the true meaning of thunder and lightning, and is also the most powerful and terrifying incarnation of thunder. Therefore, it is normal for her to have a sense of the existence of the Thunder God at an altitude of 10,000 meters. As for the connection between the two, Lin can't guess. As the saying goes, the king does not see the king, but does this mean that the god does not see the god? Once you see it, it may be a big deal. Lin's answer stopped the girls chatting. What is up there, is it above the sky? On the top. If the laws of this world don't restrict me too much, I can go up and have a look. But after a while, maybe I have adapted to the laws of this world, so I don't have any scruples about it. Ying was very curious. Lin, you seem to know what kind of existence that is. Lin nodded. I know, that existence is Thor just like you. Is he Thor too? No wonder. Ying's eyes lit up, and he showed a look of sudden realization. However, he is different from you. He is not a pure god. He is just a demon fruit power who ate thunder fruit. Lin shook her head gently, and told the secret of Thor in the sky. Lin, are you fooling us? Yes, there is no Thor in the sky. When I went shopping today, I took a special look at the sky. It was cloudless and blue. Are there any gods in this world? If Lin is not lying, Sister Ying is the god of thunder, and that guy is also the god of thunder. If the two meet, will it be impossible to accommodate two gods? Thor versus Thor, this scene is a bit explosive. Growing so big, I haven't seen God War yet. Seeing their chatter getting worse, Lin didn't bother to talk to them, so she asked Ying, do you want to go up and have a look? The place above is called Sky Island, it's a very beautiful and dreamy place. I want to, I really want to. I always feel that this feeling is unusual, and it has a great connection with my original divine power. Perhaps, this is an opportunity to touch eternity. Ying nodded fiercely, looking very excited. Judging by her appearance, if the laws of this world were not so restrictive, she would have flown to Sky Island to see what happened. The god of thunder above is called Enel, and he is not a good person. He once destroyed his hometown Burka in a fit of rage. He also ruled under high pressure for six years and killed many people. Lin went on to say something about the god of thunder above, which made all the girls a little angry. It turned out to be a bad Thor. 
It's an insult to Thor's reputation. If Sister Ying has a chance to meet him, she must teach him a lesson. Can a guy who ruined his own hometown be a good guy? It's better to be Sister Ying. As a god, she still makes friends with us mortals. It's not a ruthless rule from above. Ying was also a little surprised and annoyed. As a god, shouldn't you protect your hometown? Why are you so cruel? Speaking of this, she thought of her sister, Raiden Jen, who died for Inazuma Castle. The two sisters won the War of the Demon God together, unified Daokyu, and brought a stable life to the people. Later, in order to protect Daokyu, they risked their lives to fight against the invading demon god. During those long years, the two sisters were inseparable. I know how much painstaking effort I have put in, the old friends I followed have fallen one by one, and even my sister no longer exists. So Shadow doesn't understand what Enel is doing. Ying's mood seemed to be a little depressed and sad after saying that sentence, everyone didn't dare to say anything, and the atmosphere became a little silent. If it's really that important to you, then, when the time comes, let's go up and have a look. Lin and other shadows seemed to have calmed down a bit before speaking. As you said, it is at an altitude of 10,000 meters. Even if you use that moonwalk, it will be difficult to fly. Besides, the little girl said whether it is heavy or not, Lin, you may have to carry me for a long time. Maybe it will be more than 9,000 meters before I can fly up. When Ying asked Lin to carry it, her little face blushed faintly. Who said I'll take you up with Moonwalk, wait for the right opportunity, let's go up together and have a trip to Sky Island. Lin really didn't expect her to be so open-minded, and almost laughed out loud. Ah, so there is still a way to go up. Seeing that he had misunderstood, Ying finally blushed. Just take it easy these few days and keep your spirits up. I will find a way to get up. Then, let's take a dreamy and romantic trip to the clouds. Lin made a decision, and all the girls cheered the captain long live. To go up to Sky Island, you have to wait until the sky current appears. And the only one who has the information about the soaring sea current is the Ape Mountain United Army. And the behind-the-scenes boss of the Ape Mountain United Army is Mont Blanc Cooley Guy, a descendant of the legendary Big Talker Rolando. Cooley Guy also lives on Gaia Island, but not in Magic Valley Town. Gaia Island is like the mouth of a skeleton, with Magic Valley on one side and Cooley Guy on the other. The rest of the skeleton was brought to Sky Island by the soaring current. So, when Lin went to find him, she had to rent a boat to go. For this trip, he took Tsunade with him. Just take me out alone, why do I always feel that you want to do bad things? Tsunade looked at Lin meaningfully. Can you? Lin is not a goose, she immediately got on the pole, stared at her up and down, showing a beautiful expression. HMPH. Of course not. Who do you think I am, and how long have I only known you? Tsunade can be considered bold and straightforward, but he didn't expect Lin to be so straightforward, his little face flushed immediately, and Kaido was a little angry. Oh, so it's okay to take a longer time in the future. Then I will work hard. Lin smiled. If you are not serious, I will go back. If I change my previous violent temper and beat you into a pig's head, I will not give up. You were the one who was unscrupulous first, why did the villain sue first? Due to the extremely fast speed of the rented boat, it didn't take long for the two to go to the other side of Gaia Island and find the place where Cooley Guy lived, a small castle-like house. Wow, this Cooley Guy actually lives in such a luxurious house. When Tsunade saw the house for the first time, he couldn't help being surprised. Don't be fooled, it's just a board. Lin let the helm lean over and the two went ashore. Sure enough, when I landed on the shore, I saw the truth. Sure enough, I used a big board to draw a castle house, but behind the board was a dilapidated small house. Lin went up to knock on the door. Who? A man with a diamond face, wearing only a pair of trousers, a tattoo on his left arm, and a cigarette dangling from his mouth opened the door. It seems that with luck, this Cooley guy is at home, and the trip was not in vain. You are. When Cooley guy saw that Lin and Lin were strangers, he immediately became wary. After all, he is also the owner of tens of millions of berry bounties. He has to be extra vigilant for any strangers who come to his door. Mr. Cooley Guy, please don't be nervous, we are not bad people. Lin smiled. Then why do you come to me? 
This is my territory, so you'd better not play tricks. Cooley guy is skeptical. We are here this time because we want you to help us go up to Sky Island. Lin got straight to the point, leaving Cooley guy stunned. After a while, he kaido, do you really believe in the existence of Sky Island? Believe it, and the golden town that the big talker Rolando said is right there. Lin nodded, and continued to say what Cooley guy was stunned. You, really believe in the existence of the golden country? Cooley guy is a little bit overwhelmed. His ancestor was Rolando. Because the ancestor Rolando was executed by the king for saying that the golden country existed, he and his descendants suffered a lot of infamy. On Gaia Island, people looked at him differently, and were even expelled, laughing at dreamers and so on. Therefore, in order to prove the existence of the Golden Island, he has been working hard for these years, constantly looking for traces of the Golden Island in Gaia Island and the surrounding waters, and even dived into his own body with serious problems due to frequent diving. He formed the 8th Mountain United Army because his body was failing, and he wanted the Allied Army to inherit his will until he found the Golden Town and proved his family's innocence. Therefore, looking for the legendary Golden Land has become his heart disease and the only reason for him to live in this world. Without this persistence, with his body deteriorating, he would have collapsed long ago. It's just a breath of energy, let him continue to fight against the illness. Believe it. So, this time we are going up. Seeing his incoherent speech, Lin repeated her answer. Okay. I know what you mean. I will help you find the right sky current. Cooley guy is also a sensible person. Lin secretly sighed, a person who was so vigilant one moment, but the next moment when it comes to Sky Island and the Golden Country, he is as easy to trust as a child. It seems that Rolando's descendants are really suffocated to death in these years, they are so wronged. Then it's up to you, Uncle Lao. By the way, I also brought a doctor, she can make your situation better. Lin gestures to Tsunade to heal Coolidge. I can't cure this disease. Cooley guy waved his hand, but couldn't convince Lin, he still wanted to give it a try. However, after Tsunade finished his treatment, he was so dazed that he couldn't believe his physical condition. This, this, this. This is too amazing. Feeling the vitality returning from his body, he couldn't help shouting out of control. Then he can dive again. Lin seemed to see what he was thinking. Ahem, Mr. Cooley guy, you still don't want to dive in the future. And, there is no need for that, I will find the golden village on Sky Island, and then I will ring the golden clock in the golden country strikes nine, and I will tell you below. Okay, I wish you a smooth journey when you arrive. Come back tomorrow, and I will give you detailed information about the currents and find someone who can help you. Cooley Guy's face was full of excitement. Dot dot dot. Cooley Guy gets it done, then all that's left is to wait. Cooley Guy gave the next day, about a week later. At that time, a suitable soaring current will appear near Gaia Island, and then take a ride on the soaring current. However, Cooley Guy also warned Lin. Because it is too dangerous to ride the soaring ocean current, some daring people have tried it before, but they all crashed the ship and perished. Dot dot dot. A week passed quickly. Lin took her daughters and came to the meeting area mentioned by Coolit Guy before the appointed time. Mr. Lin, let me introduce you. Cooley Guy brought the 8th Mountain Combined Army today and introduced the two captains of the Combined Army to Lin. Then, the next step is to wait. Wait for the cumulus cloud to appear. Cumulus clouds are strange clouds that accumulate above the Grand Line. It does not produce air currents, nor does it rain, and it can block and devour all sunlight, so it is also known as a cloud fossil. Once the cumulus clouds appear, it means that there will be strong currents on the bottom of the sea, which is an extremely obvious sign. Around noon, the lookout of the 8th Mountain United Army called out. Cooley Guy picked up the binoculars and looked in the direction the lookout said, then turned to Lin and shouted, Mr. Lin, Emperor Ji the clouds are coming, get ready. Remember what I told you. Lin made a gesture of okay, and then let Xiao Rehe also act. Wow. This is too spectacular. I've never seen such thick clouds. Xiao Hiori, can you dispel it? It may be a little difficult, because there is a special energy in it, which is extremely huge. Soon, the cumulus cloud covering the sky appeared, bringing night everywhere it went. Quickly determine the position. Also enable sonic exploration. In the southwest direction, there is a strong current surging. 
There are large sea kings on the side, everyone pay attention. Move, move quickly. Otherwise, when the soaring ocean current appears, we will all be affected. There is no room for negligence. As soon as the cumulus cloud appeared, the 8th Mountain United Army immediately became busy. They performed their respective duties, and after working together, they quickly determined the area where the soaring ocean current was about to erupt. The sea current is coming, let's bid farewell and wish you a smooth journey. Cooley Guy waved goodbye to Lin and others loudly with the two captains of the 8th Mountain United Army. Lin expressed his thanks again. At this moment, this sea area seems to have entered the dark night, dark, dull, and unknown horror, attacking the hearts of everyone on Lin's side. In the face of the boundless mighty power of nature, human beings are too small. It is impossible to say that the mind is not shocked. Ma Yin and Nakiri Arena even hid in Tsunade's chest in fright, and the other directly covered their eyes, and then opened their fingers to peek again. What a magical natural scene. Even Ying was a little emotional. Um. But Xiao Hiori made the sound of excitement when eating sweets, and shook his hands lightly. Being able to control the weather, she was naturally excited about this rare weather spectacle. Moreover, Lin has told her many times that her operation this time is extremely important. It is related to the success of going to Sky Island. So, at this time, she is holding back all her energy, and she has to show her brother Lin well. Ho ho. Not long after, a huge black hole Uzumaki suddenly appeared a few miles away from Lin and others' ship. In the middle is a black hole that can devour everything, and Uzumaki is outside, with a swift force, even some huge sea kings can't escape, and they are directly pulled into the depths by this Uzumaki, and they don't know whether they are dead or alive. Wow. The boat under Lin's feet was also pulled by the suction force of the big Uzumaki, and was sucked to the edge of the black hole at once. The inside of the black hole is completely empty, and there is no seawater in it. If it falls, it hits the bottom of the sea directly. In that case, the ship will most likely be smashed to pieces, even if it survives by luck, the soaring ocean current rushing up from the depths of the black hole will also smash it to pieces. Captain. Tsunade and the others broke out in a cold sweat. But Xiao Rehei and Lin were still so calm. Even Ying was a little worried. Just when the boat was about to fall into Uzumaki, Lin finally made a move. Room. He pinched his fingers to release the operating space, allowing the clear dome to cover an area tens of meters around the ship, and then he turned his hand and stretched out his index finger to lift it up slightly. Baton. With the release of his ability, the entire ship floated about a few meters above the surface of the sea, and then suspended on the surface of the sea, no longer affected by Uzumaki. Wow. This is too powerful. Captain, what ability do you have, can you teach us? Not only powerful, but also handsome. Ma Yin and the others couldn't help being amazed. Even Ying was very curious. In the world, there is such a power. This power has already touched the law. Boom. Just about 10 seconds after Lin floated the boat, there was a loud sound of thousands of horses galloping together from under the Uzumaki black hole. Everyone could see that the entire sea was vibrating visibly. It seems that there is an extremely powerful force on the bottom of the sea that is about to burst out. Hey! In the next second, there was a huge and ferocious ocean current soaring into the sky. Go straight into the sky. Xiao Hiori, it's now. The sails are fully open. Hurry up. Lin snapped her fingers and cleared the operating room. Clear. Feng Yin Rehe had been waiting for his words for a long time, and immediately began to operate. The cooperation between the two is seamless, allowing the ship to immediately use the upward force of the soaring ocean current to quickly sail on the ocean current and go up against the sky. Wow wow wow. Can you still behave like this? Ah. It's so dreamy. If I go back and tell people what happened today, they will definitely say I am crazy. Hopefully it will be a romantic getaway. It turned out to be this way to go to Sky Island, and everyone couldn't help but yearn for it. With the help of Feng Yin Rehe's ability, there is no surprise in this wave of going to heaven. After sailing on the high current for about 10 minutes, Lin's boat broke away from the high current and fell into a sea of clouds. This is Sky Island. So beautiful, so dreamy. I didn't expect the clouds here to bear the weight of our ship, it's incredible. When everyone came to their senses and looked at everything in front of them, they all exclaimed. I can see the sea of clouds and smoke in front of me, 
the continuous waves of water in the dark, and the clouds and mountains in the distance, rising and falling one after another. Just when everyone was cheering to go down, Lin held them back. This is not Sky Island, this is just the white sea below Sky Island, we still have to go up. If you want to go down to play, I'm afraid you will fall back to Gaia Island or near Gaia Island. Lin warned. Haven't you reached Sky Island yet? But this place is so beautiful, wouldn't Sky Island be even more? Ma Yin stuck out her tongue, and retracted the posture that she was about to jump. Lin then showed Xiao Rehe the way, and drove the boat towards the entrance called the Gate of Heaven. Not long after, I saw a big gate coin with six corners. E.H. What is this, the Gate of Heaven? Is this not Sky Island, but Paradise? Ba ba. Why does it feel a little unlucky? All the girls complained about the name at the entrance. But Lin smiled lightly. It is indeed a heaven inside. After a while, you will be able to see the angels. No way, Lin, don't lie to me. I, Ma Yin, didn't study much when I was young. True or false, can we see living angels here? Are there 18 winged angels? What is an angel? 18 wings, 18 wings, shadow. Don't tell me there's God or something here besides angels. The old Amazon woman who guards the gate is still asking for money just like the original book. Of course, this small amount of money is insignificant to Lin, and there are more than this number of maids that Lin cleans the villa. Hey, you Qinghai people, are you so generous? Amazon is a little weird. The pirates who came up before, faced her charges, all shouted and shouted, and few of them were honest. After Lin paid the fee, a big shrimp soon caught the sides of Lin's boat with two pincers, and then dragged it and ran quickly. Express Shrimp. Sky Island's unique creatures are specially used to send visitors from the Gate of Heaven to Sky Island. There is also a faster Super Express Shrimp. Wow wow wow. This shrimp is too good. When it sends us to our destination, can we roast it and eat it? Arena, are you good at cooking shrimp? Hash. What a magical country. Everyone was very excited, only Ying frowned and his eyes sank a little. As we went up to the Sky Island, the closer the distance was, the fainter the feeling before it was strengthened a lot. At this moment, she finally determined what kind of induction it was, the attraction resonance between the origin of lightning. I just don't know if the other party also knows about my arrival. Reminiscent of the brutality of the opponent, Ying felt that the next might be a fierce battle. Don't worry, even if that guy wants to deal with you, he won't be your opponent. He's very weak, and he's very proud and arrogant. He's a complete jerk. Lin seemed to see her worry, and quickly comforted her. I don't know if the words of Ma Yin and others stimulated the express shrimp below. Its speed suddenly increased again, and it didn't take long to throw Lin's ship into a sea of clouds, and then fled. This stinky shrimp is so despicable. It even left us behind. Unfortunately, let it escape. Woo, my grilled shrimp is gone. It's all your fault. If you talk about eating people, you will be thrown away. The ship hit the sea of clouds, shaking everyone almost unsteady. When everyone came back to their senses, they saw the rolling buildings on the clouds in front of them. Cloud Mountain, Cloud Bridge, Cloud House. This is the world of clouds. Look, they really have wings. What an angel. Shall we go down for a walk? After a while, everyone saw some people coming and going in those buildings, and those people had a pair of small wings on their backs. Get ready to fight. God here, the punishment is about to come down. Lin, however, sent out a fight reminder. From the moment they stepped into the gate of heaven, the group was marked as an intruder to be wiped out. God's punishment. The girls were at a loss. Yes. There are already thunder elements rioting in the sky, and the attack is about to come. Be careful, everyone. Shadow also seemed to stand on something, and said. As soon as her words fell, there was a, bang, in the clouds above, and a thunderbolt as thick as an arm fell. This thunderbolt blasted towards Lin and the others with terrifying force. Lin punched out a huge punch. This is pure power and is played with the technique of finger grabbing. Although it is not as sharp as finger grabbing, it is better because of its wide attack range. Boom. The fist glow and the falling thunder and lightning shook each other, and each dissipated with a loud noise. Hiss. However, the scattered aftermath of the current still shocked the hair of everyone on board to almost stand on end. You stay here, I will go with Ying to meet this so-called Thor. 
Remember, the people here are basically good, including those soldiers who can't help themselves. The helpers of the bad guys are all with Thor, so you don't want to kill. Lin left a word and left with Ying. Receive. The girls could only watch the two of them leave, and then their eyes fell on Tsunade. Since Lin isn't worried about us anymore, then the next opponents must be all minions, ah ah ah. Maybe Ma Yin and Arena can take this opportunity to practice and get acquainted with Marine Six styles and armament hockey. Tsunade comforted. Enel and the priests who serve him live on a part of Gaia Island washed up by the soaring ocean current, which is also called the Sanctuary, the Kingdom of Gods. With the induction of the shadow, the two of them didn't need to spend time looking for it, they just locked on the target and went away. It only took a short time for the two of them to reach the sky above the Kingdom of God. Where is he? Shadow looked at the Get Money Temple above the sky reaching vine, and said in a low voice. It's better to let me do it, it seems inappropriate for you to do this kind of thing. Lin thought about it and said it anyway. Although Ying is also a god of war who has experienced many battles, it is still not suitable for killing people he has never met. Besides, Ying is still a girl. As for Lin, there is no such pressure. Anyway, Enel is a jerk, not to mention killing people indiscriminately under high-handed rule, even if he destroys Sky Island, he won't blink his eyes. Human beings without strength are like ants in his eyes, and they can handle it as they want. No. This battle, I want to come in person. If there are no accidents, this battle will give me a deeper understanding of the law of thunder in this world. The comprehension of the laws of two different worlds will be the most firm step for me to go to eternity. So, Lin thank you. Shadow, this is just the beginning. Lin decided to paint the pie again. By the way, let me deal with those shrimp soldiers and crab generals. You can fight him with peace of mind. Lin suggested. Good. Ying nodded, and pulled out a purple Luo Deosu. This Naginata is also called Naginata no Anamitsu, and it is Cage's special weapon. This Naginata is in two styles from Whitebeards. Whitebeards is thick and fierce, with a wide open and close power killing type, while Ying's is light, sharp, and roaming without direction. However, this Naginata combined with Shadow's Thunder Power can combine lightness and lethality, which is even more difficult. The two walked side by side, Shadow flew directly, while Lin used Moonwalk, and within a few breaths, the two went up to the temple. Fu. The two landed in front of the temple door. But at the gate of the temple, the four god-tier officers under Enel's command had been waiting for a long time. Sure enough, he can also know your arrival, so be careful. Seeing that the other party had already set up a battle, Lin quickly reminded in a low voice. Um. Shadow nodded. My god has been waiting for a long time, please. A bald man holding a sword among the four priests stood up and made an invitation letter. Iron trial priest. Ohm. Lin originally wanted to kill them when he came up, but he didn't expect that they seemed to be quite polite, so he held back for a while. However, just when the two were about to enter the temple. Sudden. E.H. You stop. You are not on the list invited by Master Enel, you just wait here. A priest with an extremely round stomach stopped Lin with an indifferent expression on his face. Trial priest of the ball, Shadley. Those who dare to desecrate the temple will be cut without mercy. Please stop your rudeness. This is the final warning. The temple is not for everyone to enter casually. The other two priests also picked up the weapons in their hands, and their voices carried cold killing intent. Mrs. Enel of his own family pointed out that the only distinguished guest was the purple-haired girl, and the black-haired man on one side was naturally not eligible to enter the temple. Where is the temple? It is the place where Lord Enel lives. Not all cats and dogs can enter. Originally, Lin didn't really want to do it right away, but he didn't expect that the other party would push his nose to his face instead. Bang 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 bang. Lin just raised her hand and moved her four fingers, and four crescent slashes flew out, killing the four god-tier officials. These four helpers have passed through those so-called trials over the years, and they don't know how many Sky Island people have been killed, and many of them broken by mistake. Sending them back to the West today can be regarded as a sigh of relief for those who died. So fast. I can catch it, but I can't dodge it. What happened? Ah. This is. The fourth god-tier officer was already very weak, and usually relied on Sky Island's shells to increase his combat power, 
so they couldn't stop Lin's flying fingers at all, Song Neng was surprised and all died. Can it be captured? It seems that Sky Island Shinwang Observation Hockey, or BEFG, has something unique. Lin thought to himself. At this time. Boom. Squeak. A powerful aura suddenly erupted from Ying's body, and then surged away, directly rushed through the gate, and then swept the entire temple inside. This is the breath of the gods. Full of majesty and supremacy. Ordinary people face this kind of aura, if their strength is low, they are afraid that they will accept their heads and worship. In the temple, stood a man wearing a white turban, with long earlobes on both sides, bare to the upper body, but with a few thunder drums on his back. God of Sky Island, Enel. Facing the godly aura released by Ying, Enel did not give in at all, and a powerful aura burst out from his body as well. God see God. The first side is the confrontation of the breath of God. Boom. However, in the blink of an eye, Enel's footsteps were faltering and he took a step back. It seems that you haven't fully grasped the true meaning of thunder, you don't even have the slightest breath of a god, you are not worthy to be called a god. Shadow shook his head and sighed. Before coming here, she was full of hope, hoping to meet an opponent who was equal to her, and then allow herself to comprehend and integrate the laws of this world as soon as possible. However, after meeting, she tried the basics, and immediately knew that the other party's ability was at least one level behind her own. She was a little disappointed. Lin, who obediently stood watching the battle from a distance, thought to himself, you are really right, this Enel is really close to meaning, even I, Lin, have the confidence to solve him within ten moves. I'm not worthy to be called a god. You have such a big tone. Enel's pair of dead fish eyes, which seemed to be closed at ordinary times, suddenly opened round, with blue veins on his forehead, and the surge of anger even distorted his face. So many years. It was the first time he had seen someone who dared to humiliate him face to face like this. Boom boom boom. With the golden stick in his hand, he directly hit the thunder drums on the left and right behind him. Sixty million volts. Brontosaurus. He directly released the strongest thunder drum ultimate move. There was a surge of lightning flying out of the thunder drum behind him, and then it fused into a ferocious thunder dragon, roaring and killing like a shadow. Quote exclamation mark quote. The appearance of this brontosaurus and the terrifying power contained in it made even Lin look sideways. The power of thunder and lightning has always been the most aggressive and explosive. Enel's move is already the strongest besides his Thor state. However, Ying didn't even look at the thunder dragon, he gently swung the Naginata with one hand, and slashed out with one blow. PFF. Like the sound of blisters being punctured, the seemingly ferocious thunder dragon was slashed like a deflated balloon. After only one second, there was only a wisp of smoke left. Flying indistinctly. Huh. Enel opened his eyes wide, the eyeballs almost fell off. If you don't use your real skills, I will kill you with the next knife. Sinner. Ying's words were full of disappointment. To her, the thunder and lightning without the power of God is nothing more than fanlay, how could it possibly hurt her? If she wanted to, she could blow away that brontosaurus just now with just one breath. What she said was true, if Enel's next move was still at this level, she would kill Enel without any hesitation. The crimes on Enel, she has already seen the tip of the iceberg, she is really a person. Don't bully people too much. Enel was furious to the peak, the lightning on his body surged like erupting magma, instantly filling a radius of more than a hundred meters, countless overflowing lightning, easily wiped out everything in the temple. The whole temple is crumbling. Boom. 200 million volts Thor. Under Shadow's absolute crush, Enel didn't dare to hold back anymore, and erupted all the lightning in his body. Then he used these erupting thunder and lightning, combined with his own body, to condense a huge divine spirit. Thunder fruit Thor form. It still doesn't work. Forget it, I'll get it myself. I can't count on you. Cage sighed, then clenched the Naginata with both hands. Zila. Purple lightning appeared on her body and Naginata. Enel roared angrily at this time, driving the full Thor form, and delivered the fiercest blow. Boom. With such ferocious lightning power, wherever it went, even the void seemed to tremble. And the huge thunder god image brought great pressure. Even Lin looked sideways and became nervous, for fear that Lei Mubi would be hurt. Thunder. However, all the hustle and bustle returned to silence after Ying chanted two words. Even Lin, 
who only had time to see a swift figure, performed a very simple thrust and slash. Then, Enel, along with Thor's state, was cut off. Yes, Enel's whole body was cut in two with the top and bottom separated. What? I can't avoid turning into lightning. No. I can't die here. I still want to go to the boundless land, where God should go. Enel sensed that the vitality of his body was flowing out of his body like a flood breaking a bank, and he panicked to the extreme. Nixie, this is your destination. Cage even put away the Naganata. It seems that she is very confident in her own knife. Zila. Boom. Immediately, a purple thunder burst out from Enel's wound, instantly reducing him to ashes. Lin thought that everything would be over when Enel died, but seeing that Ying was still waiting for the battle, and that there were countless purple thunders gushing out from his body, he realized that things were not that simple. In this way, Ying is much more cautious than he was against Enel just now. Most of the purple thunder light gushing out from Ying's body flew half a meter above her head, forming a purple eye, while the rest spilled out. This is Shadow's elemental combat skill, Divine Transformation Evil Eye Opening. If I remember correctly, this is a group skill, and it can also give teammates a Thunder Punishment Evil Eye. As soon as Lin thought of this, she looked up above herself. Sure enough, there really is a Thunder Punishment Evil Eye floating above. It seems that Ying has accepted himself as her little friend. But Lin is curious, what is Shadow using this evil eye for? As we all know, the premise for Ying to use this skill is to unfold a corner of his pure land of one heart. The pure land of one mind is the self-space opened up by Yingdong with its supreme power. In a corner of its expansion, blessings in this world that does not belong to Tibet, different laws will inevitably conflict and consume each other, which is obviously a big burden for Ying. But, what kind of power is it that prevents her from developing her own space to fight against? Enel, who is obviously so strong, can't stop Ying's knife. And Ying's ultimate killer move, Dream Sword, is still useless. Enel, still not dead. Only a second or two later, Lin witnessed another fact that surprised him. Zila. Enel's breath unexpectedly appeared in the sky, Lin looked over, and saw a gathering of electric lights in the deep space, condensing into Enel's human form. Enel's elementalization, after all, escaped Shadow's divine power thunder slash at that moment. However, he couldn't escape the Shadow's thunder and evil eyes. I saw the pattern of thunder and lightning running in the thunder punishment evil eye on the Shadow head, releasing several purple thunders and bombarding Enel's body, making him howl again. Zidian severely delayed Enel's reorganization. Even if I fall here, you can't prevent the destruction of Sky Island. I'm already ready. Enel growled. Destroy Sky Island. Lin's heart trembled, and she looked up to the sky. I don't know when, above the sky, there are already black thunderclouds billowing, and the lightning inside is criss-crossing from time to time. Boom. In the center of the sky, a huge blue-black thunderball is forming. At the same time, countless thunder pillars were falling like rain. This is what Enel spent more than half a month preparing for. He is having a hard time, and he has to take the whole island to be buried with him. He is really a vicious person. Is this the thundercloud released by the proverb of the Ark? Is it to launch a thunderstorm? Shadow, he is going to be destroyed. Lin quickly reminded him that he had to fight with all his strength, together with Ying to stop the opponent. The laws of this world helped him just now. I'm just a little bit short. Ying uttered a little unwillingly, dispelling Lin's previous surprise. Be darling, you are just fighting, and it involves the laws of the world anyway. Although devil fruit may really be related to the laws of this world. However, his origin has been severely damaged by me, and he cannot escape today. This Lei Ying, let me destroy it. Oh, I still need to cut one more knife. But every time I hold the knife, my thoughts will arise. Sadness will also emerge, and the spirit will start to wear down. Ying sighed, and then clasped his hands together in front of his chest. Purple lightning began to appear all over his body. Zila. A fast spinning pattern of lightning appeared between her folded hands, and then worked. Boom. A purple pillar of lightning soared into the sky, countless purple lightning danced like wild snakes, and the lightning domain took shape. Ying Fu floated in the pillar of thunder and lightning, opened his arms and looked up at the sky. And on her chest, there is a blazing purple hilt raised. I didn't expect to see everything about Naoshan so soon. 
This familiar scene happened in front of her, and Lin was still a little excited. This sword is the power of Kamui left behind by Cage's older sister, Raiden, one heart of dreams. The peerless artifact finally appeared. The shadow at this moment is already admiral level strength. Lin can even see shadow's comprehensive strength rating has changed from dollar to s in the panel properties. I order the world in the ten directions to calm down the thunder. At this time, Ying had already grasped Dream Yixin, surrounded by purple electric lights, rushed up against the sky, and slashed towards Enel. Shadow is galloping up through the air. Every step she takes, a circle of purple thunder will appear under her feet, which becomes a, step. It sounds slow, but it's really fast. However, Lin even had the illusion that he couldn't look directly at Enel's brilliant knife. And at that moment, Lin thought the sky was cut in half. What Lei Ying, what Wan Lei, and what Lei Yun were all blurred at this moment. Point zero. This is a knife without thought and thought. A knife without thought. It was also a ferocious blow that killed the demon god Orobus, and caused the narrow gap between the Wuxiang blade on Yulong Island. Of course, there was no suspense for this overkill. Enel was wiped out of existence in an instant, and there was not even ashes left. Why is Shadow making such a big fuss? Lin was still a little confused. With Cage's strength, even with a thunderous slash with a Naginata, Enel would be able to kill the heavily injured Enel. The next moment, when he saw the ball of blue lightning floating in Ying's hand, he immediately understood. It was a very strange ball of lightning, sometimes it condensed into a thunderball, sometimes it turned into a blue spiral fruit, as if it had life, trying desperately to break free from Shadow's control. I see. Ying opened the corner of Yixin Pure Land, and launched Wuxiang with a saber, in addition to killing Enel completely and clearing the sky, he also wanted to intercept the thunder fruit that was about to be reincarnated. The source of the thunder fruit is the source of Yingxuan's feeling, and of course she can't let it go. Great, it's a perfect ending. As expected of a movie. Lin breathed a sigh of relief. After Ying collected the source of the thunder fruit, he also got down, left here with Lin, and went back to join Tsunade and the others. However, when the two of them returned to the place where the boat was moored, they were both a little stunned by what they saw. Lin followed the shadow and saw the sea of clouds around her own ship, and a large group of Sky Island people dressed as police forces lay crookedly. And the instigator was still there with his sleeves rolled up, looking left and right, and as soon as he found someone, he went up and hammered, very angry. Those who were held up could hardly get up, lying on the ground and howling. Princess Tsunade, why are you so angry? Lin dropped down and asked. Tsunade did hit a little hard. HMPH. You'd be so angry, our boat was destroyed by them. Look. Seeing that it was him, Tsunade immediately said angrily. Lin, it's nothing if the ship is broken, just let them make it up, it's a bit too much to beat them up like this. Huh. When she saw the appearance of her own pirate ship the next moment, Lin's next words got stuck on her front teeth. I saw a huge hole at the bottom of my own ship, and I could see that the keel inside was broken in two. Sky Island's guards don't have such skills, they must be shooting shells or something to cause such a big damage. Of course, it's only the weird platoon that makes Tsunade and others hard to defend. Otherwise, with Tsunade's ability to follow Fungyan Rahei, even if Aini, 017, came to this ship, I dare not say that it can be easily destroyed. Captain, it's okay, it's okay, their legs were broken by you. Captain calm down. Don't stop me, I'm going to hack them to death. How dare you destroy my ship like this. If it weren't for Tsunade and Ying, Lin, who had already got the big knife from the portable space, would definitely chop up these unlucky people on the ground. If it's just a small hole or something, Lin doesn't think it's a big problem to make up. Anyway, after going down from Sky Island, he will go to Seven Waters to find the best boat builder, and exchange a huge sum of money for a world-class boat. But now it is directly scrapped. Next, this is going to stay on Sky Island for a long time. Whizzing. Just as Lin and others were making noise, there was a sudden sound of piercing in the distance. Lin, Tsunade and the others took a look, and saw a few figures approaching quickly in the distance. Huh. They're skating. Oh, aren't they skating? Wow. Their tattoos are so cool. He wears little clothes, has big tattoos, likes racing cars, and carries a weapon on his back. Dot all of them look dragging. 
Could this be Sky Islands will owe the wisp boy? For these close group of people, Tsunade and the eight trigrams were very excited and talked about it one after another. They are Sandia people, and they are also the inhabitants of Gaia Island hundreds of years ago. At this time Lin told their origins. The few people stopped a dozen meters away from Lin and the others. The leader is a man with mohawk hair and a large tattoo on his left eye. His whole body is muscular, and he only wears a dress that looks like a skirt around his waist. His eyes are very fierce and frightening. Lin recognized him, Weyapa, known as the War Ghost. The strongest warrior among the Sandians. He is also the most tenacious fighter, with amazing vitality. He has not died for so many years with Enel Gorilla, and he is also a character. As soon as Vipa fell down, he cut to the chase, you guys killed Enel. Seeing Lin nodded, Vipa bowed and said, thank you, sir, for avenging our Shandia clan. How powerful Enel is, the Shandia family who vowed to take back the holy land these years is the clearest. What? You killed a god. Enel. Hearing Wipa's words, a person from Sky Island who was lying on the ground and yelling that he was going to die a second ago stood up suddenly and shouted fiercely. Even the other Sky Island police officers were shocked by this news and no longer held miserably. The man who stood up and shouted was Ma Jian Li, the captain of the Sky Island White Beret unit. Your gods don't seem to be doing well, they are too weak, and they were chopped off by my crew. Lin touched her chin and took the opportunity to pretend. Too, too weak. You lose with a knife. This time, not only Ma Jian Li and the others were so frightened that their jaws almost fell to the ground, but even Weipa and the others widened their eyes. After being ruled by high pressure for so many years, they know how terrible Enel is, and they also think that Enel's power is worthy of the name of God. However, today I learned that he was beheaded by a foreigner. Is the outside world so scary? Wu. Then we are liberated. Ma Jian Li cried. Over the years, as Enel's running dog, he helped manage Sky Island. Although he secretly helped many people in Sky Island, he did do some bad things and suffered a lot of infamy, so he has been suffering all the time. Not to mention other people, they immediately replaced the ecstasy in their hearts with cheers and even live singing and dancing. Even, they forgot the Sandia who robbed them of the Holy Land for hundreds of years. The news of Enel's beheading quickly spread throughout Sky Island. However, because Ying needed time to comprehend the origin of the thunder fruit she had obtained, she even hid in her own pure land of one heart, so the entire credit goes to Captain Lin. Various local forces in Sky Island even want Lin to become a new god to rule them. This made Lin a little confused, you finally got rid of God's rule, and you just push another one to rule yourself. Human nature. But he can easily arrange this matter, just like the original book, let the old god gone for go back to be a god, and then the holy land Sky Island will be managed jointly with the Sandia family. How could he agree, he will run away after a while. It is good to be a god, but freedom is more important. For him, the place Sky Island is still too small. The managers of Sky Island saw that he was really unwilling to take over the burden of the new god, so they could only sigh, it's a pity, we thought you could leave us with a little blood of god. That's right, we all pick the youngest and most beautiful virgins of our angel race to give to the new god as maids. Huh. Just your angel clan. Could it be that our Sandia clan didn't prepare for it? We picked out the most beautiful, fierce, round ass, and most fertile. What? Are you sure you didn't lie to me? I can take this test. Ah. Lin's eyes widened when she heard it, and when she was about to change her mouth, her ears were immediately twisted by Nakiri Arena and Tsunade. You should give up on this idea, the captain is ours, and he will accompany us to explore the new world and become the king of pirates. Tsunade was a little angry, and said with a wolfish gaze. Regarding the fierceness of this oath of sovereignty, the high-level officials of the Sandia and Angel clan can only keep silent and dare not mention it again. After all, the ferocity of Tsunade's beating of the White Berets had spread throughout Sky Island. No one knows the vicious name of the super-violent girl. Master Captain, are you still not satisfied with us? Are we worse than those women? You have to tell others about what Ma Yin is doing badly, and they will change. Ma Yin also lay down in front of Lin's bed pitifully, as if you were a heartless person. Enough. You drama masters. Give me less anime and less drama from now on. Lin was a little speechless. Soon, the whole island's carnival banquet was over. 
Only then did Lin remember the agreement she had made with Kuli Gai, and planned to ring the golden bell sometime. However, at this time, someone from the Sandia tribe came to report and told about a situation in the Holy Land. There was a place where thunderclouds kept coming out, and the chief of the Sandia tribe asked Lin to go there. That's right, Lin let the man lead the way. E.H. So it's it. Lin didn't know what was going on until he got there. It turned out to be the Proverbs of the Ark. I have to say that my pirate ship is nothing compared to the giant in front of me. The Proverbs of the Ark is at least ten times larger than his small and medium-sized ship. From the first time she saw this Ark proverb, Lin thought it was it. Yes, this ship, he's going to order it. The proverb of the Ark, you can fly forward with electricity. And in my pirate group, there happened to be two masters who played with electricity, so they didn't worry about the source of electricity at all. You guys stop. But when seeing someone trying to dismantle the device created by the thundercloud, Lin quickly told them to stop. Enel's big moves Lei Ying and Wan Dian rely on the cooperation of these devices that can produce rich soldiers. It is also these thunderclouds that continue to emerge, which lead to the discovery of this hidden arc. The top executives of the Sandia clan and the Angel clan were also there, and when they saw Lin coming, they hurriedly saluted at 1.8. It's even better if you are all here. I want this ship, which can just replace my ship that was ruined by you. You can evacuate everyone. Lin quickly asked them to evacuate everyone. Huh. Why are you here too? Then Lin found that there was a Tsunade on the boat. However, since she took a video camera to shoot here and there, she should have arrived before herself. Don't you welcome me. My dear captain, you seem to be a little ruthless and indifferent to me recently. Tsunade smiled at Kaido, looking resentful. Today's Tsunade is not the usual Hokage outfit, but a tight-fitting white short-sleeved t-shirt and denim shorts with a wide opening in the front, which makes her domineering figure even more eye-catching. Because of ninja art, meiotic regeneration and baihao technique, Tsunade's skin should be the fairest and best among all the girls, especially when she puts on a white t-shirt today. So when Lin saw her for the first time, she felt a little dazzled, yes, she was white. Then, he inexplicably remembered the first secret he had revealed to Tsunade before, and he was shocked. Eyes can't help. Is there still nothing in it? But it doesn't matter, because Sister Tsunade, you are so beautiful today. Are you taking a photo as a souvenir? Lin is a little weird. With Tsunade's bold and unrestrained character, he yells, fights and kills every day, whether it's drinking or gambling, he doesn't seem like a person who hurts the spring and the autumn, why is he acting like a little girl today? Also, this camera was given by Sibel, right? Although Pirate World also has cameras and related phone bugs that can take pictures, they are not easy to buy. Lin was at a loss, but he didn't dare to ask or comment. After all, this is Miss Tsunade with a strange strength, and she cannot be provoked. What's so strange, I'm also a woman, it's normal to see something beautiful and want to take it as a souvenir. This Sky Island, I like it very much, but I also know that I don't belong here. So, take some pictures and go back. Hey, when I return to our world, maybe I can show them. What a dreamy place. Tsunade held the camera, looking left and right, looking for a suitable photo spot. Then come with me, and I'll find you a dreamier and more beautiful place. Lin turned and led the way. Is there any more dreamy and beautiful place 14? Let's go then. As soon as he heard that there was a better place than here, Tsunade couldn't wait. Wow. It's not bad here. What a beautiful and atmospheric building. But it's a pity that it's not the time for its heyday. Although the ruins still have the beauty of time traces, they are far worse after all. When Lin took her somewhere, Tsunade couldn't help but let out a soft cry. The place where Lin brought her was the old golden town. In terms of gorgeousness, exquisiteness, and brilliant atmosphere, Golden Town can be ranked among the top three in the huge pirate world. It is also a legendary city. Of course, the gold here has been used by Enel to build the Ark Proverbs, and the remaining broken walls, no matter how many exquisite carvings and atmospheric structures there are, will lose their glory. However, judging from Tsunade's reaction, it seems that she thinks it's okay. That's right. Let's go to another place, where a corner of this golden land is still preserved. Lin suddenly remembered something, and pulled Tsunade towards a certain place. 
A corner of the golden land is still preserved. That means there is gold. As soon as he guessed that there was gold, Tsunade's eyes turned into money symbols, completely ignoring Lin pulling his hand. Now I seriously suspect that you are not here to take pictures to see the scenery, but to take the opportunity to steal the gold on the Ark Proverbs. Lin said a little contemptuously. Just here. It's nothing special. Although there is a temple on it, it has been destroyed by you. 5. Strange. Just now, she finally realized that her hand was held by Lin, but she did not break free by a strange coincidence. You will know when you go up. Lin pulled her, moving quickly up. Not long after, the two of them stood at the top of the huge vine. Wow. You can see the entire Sky Island, not only Angel Island, but also Cloud Shinobi village of the Sandia clan. Lin wait a minute, I'll take some pictures first. Tsunade couldn't hold back anymore, picked up the camera and clicked. The filming is over. Let's go. It's time to witness the miracle. Lin continued to hold her hand, used Moonwalk to lead, and flew towards a sea of clouds in the distance. Although Tsunade has also mastered Moonwalk, it is limited to beginners. She usually only focuses on the practice of armament hockey and does not practice much, so she is a bit unfamiliar. Walking in such a high altitude was still a little scary for her. So instead, she gripped Lin's hand tightly. This is very useful to Lin, after all, the soft experience of being soft and boneless is amazing. Are we going to that sea of clouds? In order to ease the delicate atmosphere, Tsunade could only ask questions to create topics. Yes. The most beautiful thing in the whole Sky Island is there. Lin Kaido, and landed with her on the sea. Wow. It's all made of gold. The sight of the golden clock tower made Tsunade's eyes straight. Lin, can I take it? No. The origin of this golden clock is extraordinary. It is the lamp of Shandora, the golden town. It is also a treasure inherited from the Sandia family. According to their rumors, as long as the lamp of Shandora is rung, the souls of the lost Sandia people can return. And this bell also represents guardian. At the same time, it is also the voice that extols the prosperity of Shandora. Knock it, you can get a very pleasant sound, some people say it is the sound from the earth. By the way, do you still remember Uncle Cooley Guy who I met with you last time? Lin told the origin of the Golden Bell, and briefly told the story of the big talker Rolando and the Sandia family, which completely dispelled Tsunade's idea of keeping it for himself. The role of the Golden Clock was also at that moment, allowing her to flash memories of her brother and her former lover in her mind. But the strange thing is, what came to her heart was not all uncomfortable, but more emotion. Rolando. Love, family affection, I am gone, then I must not lose the remaining friendship. Kalgala and Rolando's regrets must not be allowed to happen to them. Some things must not be missed until they are lost. Moreover, we must not allow Konoha village to be destroyed in the future. I, who inherit the blood of the Senju family, must take up this responsibility, instead of using alcohol and gambling to anesthetize myself, escaping from reality. Unknowingly 150, Tsunade felt that he had to face some things head on. For a moment, she even despised what the past few years were like, and she was so decadent. Fortunately, I had my niece Shizun to take care of me along the way, otherwise I would really be hopeless. Tsunade was in a complicated mood, with mixed feelings, and then he couldn't help but look at Lin. In a sense, this man, saved, him. At this time, Lin didn't pay attention to Tsunade's situation. He was busy with another thing, rubbing the historical text under the golden clock base. He wanted to give this rubbing to Robin. Of course, this premise is that Robin will contact him. However, just as he put away the rubbings, he was hugged from behind by Tsunade. This beauty suddenly gave her a hug, which made Lin a little confused. Just look at the golden clock, wouldn't it? This must be an illusion. Could it be because today's Tsunade is so beautiful? However, the soft warmth coming from the back with a strong sense of oppression told him, this is true. Lin, thank you. Tsunade exhaled like blue, and spoke softly like a song, touching Lin's heartstrings. Lin was about to say something, but couldn't speak. Because his mouth has been firmly sealed by Tsunade's mouth. It was a passionate kiss. It's crazy. Don't you just look at the golden clock, and this kind of thing will happen on the cloud. And it happened several times. Crazy crazy crazy. Lin, 
Why don't you even have basic concentration, so how can you become the one piece in the future? If the enemy sent a woman as beautiful as Tsunade to seduce, wouldn't it be a joke? However, if it is really the best at the level of sister Tsunade, it will be difficult. When it was over, Lin couldn't help but spit on herself. And Tsunade, which has just been tidied up, is also a bit awkward. At this point she changed into Lin's clothes. Her white t-shirt was dyed bright red, so she kept it as a souvenir. After all, she will leave One Piece World in the future, and she may also leave Lin, so it's better to keep it as a thought. Seeing that Lin was still a little dazed, Tsunade smiled and broke the awkward atmosphere, it seems that I suffered a big loss today. After this happened, can we still have a normal relationship between superiors and subordinates in the future? In the workplace, this is the most dreaded thing. It's a bit embarrassing indeed. Lin also smiled. What, it's my first time too, and you obviously made money too. That's really an honor, my dear captain. Tsunade scowled. Take advantage of it and sell it. Well, well, don't you want to hear the sound of the golden bell? Lin remembered the intention of coming here before. Huh. I'm ashamed to say that I was deceived by you like this. If the bell is not as beautiful as you said, I won't beat you. Tsunade was silent. You were the one who started this accident, and Jiraiya, an idiot who misunderstood his children, whereas 106, it's 110 at least. Lin muttered to himself. But the next moment he grabbed Tsunade's hand. He wants two people to ring the lamp of Shandora that hasn't sounded for hundreds of years. Tsunade blushed, but there was brightness in his eyes. This should be considered a very romantic thing, right? Dang 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 dang, reverse button. The crisp, melodious and clear bells immediately resounded in the sky. Like the bells of fairy music, there is a trace of the obvious thickness of nature, and it resounds over the entire sky island in an instant. The sound of the bell is not only pleasant, but also very penetrating. In addition to being heard on the entire sky island, the sound is also resounding in the sky above the Gaia island below. For a moment, everyone in the two places almost stopped everything in their hands. The sound of this bell is so nice that it can go straight into people's hearts and make their souls jump for joy. It was only after ringing the golden bell with their own hands that Lin and Tsunade realized that the bell deserved its reputation as the lamp of Shandora. Clang clang clang. The bell rang a total of nine times. After hearing the agreed nine bells, Kuligite and the 8th Mountain United Army Group under Gaia Island were already crying like tears. Our ancestor Rolando was neither a liar nor a liar. The golden country, it exists. Because of the proverbs of the Ark, Lin and others don't have to stay long on Sky Island. Although there are still some unfinished business in the Ark proverbs, it will not hinder the sailing, so Lin decides to leave early. If he doesn't leave sooner, he has been regarded as a new god by everyone in Sky Island, and I'm afraid he won't be able to leave even more. And during this period of time, those girls in Sky Island are too enthusiastic, they want to kiss Lin's fragrance by all means. If it weren't for Tsunade and the others watching closely, Lin was really afraid that she would not be able to control herself. It's such a dream trip. I'm actually a bit reluctant. Come back again when you have time. The biggest harvest is these empty shells, it's amazing. In the reluctance of all the people of Sky Island, Lin and the others drove the Ark Proverbs and left Sky Island, Lin and others were also a little bit reluctant. Especially Tsunade and Lin left such unforgettable memories in such a beautiful and dreamy place like Sky Island. This memory may never be forgotten in a lifetime. Leaving Sky Island, the next step is to go to Long Island, and then go to Wenyi City, the capital of Seven Waters, via Long Island. Before that, Lin had to prepare. Starting from the capital of Seven Waters, he plans to make a big one. Whether the bounty can be increased to 1 billion depends on this wave. The bounty has reached 1 billion, and I am promoted to a 4th level captain. Then my strength is almost at the admiral level. As long as I have real admiral level strength, then the crew members I will recruit next will all be admiral level. At that time, the prototype of the strongest royal group will be completed. Thinking of the imminent takeoff, Lin couldn't wait. But before struggling, Lin decided to enjoy the beauty more. After all, after winning such a peerless beauty like Tsunade, how can he waste everything and let her stay in the cold palace? Of course, strike while the iron is hot. Since Sky Island broke through the boundary, 
although on the surface the two are still in a normal superior subordinate relationship, secretly Lin uses the op op fruit ability to run into Tsunade's room almost every night without anyone noticing. However, Lin soon discovered a problem Tsunade's ninja art, meiotic regeneration, and baihao technique, the 2s level ninjutsu, seem to be a little in the way. Although they need to be activated to have a strong effect, but with the characteristics of these two techniques, usually minor injuries will heal themselves, and the effect is super good. So, it was always repaired when it was broken. It was quite fresh at first, but every time, even Tsunade herself was a little annoyed. No, Tsunade made Lin tortured behind closed doors for a few days under the pretext of studying how to control these two techniques delicately. HMPH. Men still put their career first. Quote. Lin could only feel a little resentful, and was going to vent her pent-up anger on those CP9s when they went to the capital of Seven Waters. Because of the ability of the Ark to fly Chiandas, the next voyage went smoothly and arrived at Long Island soon. When I was on Long Island, I didn't meet Foxy the Silver Fox that would appear in the original book, so there was no delay, I only stayed for a few days, and when the record pointer was full, I went to the capital of Seven Waters. During the period, everyone also found that Xiao Rehe's reward has increased again, reaching 50 million berry. In Ma Yin, Nakiri Arena, and Tsunade also have bounties. They are Ma Yin with 1 million berry, Nakiri Arena with 100,000 berry, and Tsunade with 2 million berry. Because Ying came from behind and didn't show up much in front of the world, there is no reward for the time being. Wow. Xiao Rehe is amazing. 50 million berry, the captain spent a lot of effort to get this number. Why am I only 100,000? It's 10 times worse than Ma Yin. When everyone saw the reward, they were naturally amazed again. City of Seven Waters. It is a very beautiful and magical city. Because the shipbuilding industry in this city is extremely developed, it also drives business. Many world-class luxury companies have branches here. And the customs and customs here are also very special. There are dense waterways in the city, and the means of transportation basically rely on various ships. Therefore, in many cases, transactions are completed on both sides of the waterway. The specialties here are water meat and sea salt. After Lin parked the ark, she took the girls to buy these two things. Needless to say, sea salt, a gift from the gods of water after the huge tsunami, has extremely fresh characteristics, and it will be used by Nakiri Arena for cooking in the future, complementing each other. Even Nakiri Arena, who has always been picky about various ingredients, was full of praise after trying the taste of these two things. Especially the high concentration of sea salt amazed her so much that she even asked Lin to sweep a street and bought all the stock on the street. This tsunami sea salt will be her special kitchen salt in the future. Fortunately, Lin's portable space has been expanded, even if he buys several times more, he can still hold it. After a few days of shopping and relaxing, Lin started to drive the 747. Pluton's manufacturing blueprints, in Iceberg's hands. This iceberg is not only the boss of Carrera, the largest shipyard, but also the mayor of the capital of Seven Waters, and Frankie's brother. Lin's Ark proverbs are now left to them to take care of the rest of the tale and maintenance. Because the design of the Ark proverb was originally intended to only fly above the sky, but Lin is used to walk on waterways, so the protection in this regard must be in place. Therefore, Lin and others will have to stay at least half a month in the capital of Seven Waters. By watching the progress of ship repairs every day, Lin also gradually got acquainted with some people in the shipyard. In the shipyard, Lin met those CP9 spies who had been lurking for several years, Luchi, Kaku, Khalifa and so on. Among them, Lin is most often in contact with Khalifa, the secretary of the mayor. I have to say that Khalifa, a stunner, is even more amazing than the one in the original comics. Gorgeous face, devilish figure, Plus the addition of a girl with glasses and an OL skirt with short skirts, it's really top-notch. Of course, she will look even better with a black short skirt and a fishnet outfit holding a thorn whip. It's just that Lin, who wants to use them to collect bounties, doesn't have much thought in this regard. Pluton's manufacturing blueprints, in Iceberg's hands. How can I get Bingshan to hand over the Pluton design drawings to my own hands, and then let people from CP0 see and report it? 
it's not a relative, it's almost impossible to ask Bingxian to hand over the Pluton design all of a sudden. Lin thought about it, and felt that it was better to take the blame herself. It doesn't matter if Bingxian doesn't hand in the design drawings, as long as the CP thinks it's taken by him. But all of this has to wait for Sibel to arrive. There is still a lack of equipment. On a pier in the capital of Seven Waters, the charming Sibel is getting off the boat with her men. Wow. This is the capital of Seven Waters. It's so beautiful. It's like a city built on a big fountain. Looking up at the capital of the Seven Waters aloft at the pier, she buyer couldn't help but exclaim sincerely. Of course, no matter how beautiful the scenery is, I can't compare to seeing Mr. Lin. Your Excellency Lin, here I come. This time, I will definitely find a chance to take you down. In an instant, the surprise in her eyes turned into a heart-shaped light. However, several of her subordinates are no strangers to it. Even before they came, they had seen their boss frantically performing various strategies in the room, all in order to win this. BEFH, I'm really envious of this Lin, look at how obsessed our boss is. I have seen this Lin's reward order, and I have to say, he is really handsome. A reward of 500 million. In the first half of this grand line, it is almost the pirate with the highest reward. What do you say, the boss said, if this trip can be successfully completed, our bonus will be doubled. I still remember the boss said that if she wins Lin, our prize money will be doubled. Yes, so be careful, we want to help the boss realize his dream. How? Help the boss hold down Mr. Lin. Huh. You have something. Your suggestion is good. With the arrival of Sibel, the repair of the Ark Proverbs was completed, Lin also found out the situation of the shipyard, and the plan was ready to be launched. Before the action, it is natural to have a small meeting with the girls to get a breath. Lin, you must pay attention to your safety. I think it's safer to call Shadow out. I don't want anything to happen to our favorite captain. After all, naval headquarters is not very far from here, so I'm afraid they will send Admiral out. Since breaking through that relationship, Tsunade has shown a lot of concern for Lin, and even exhorted her with a lot of sincerity. It's not a big problem. Ying's pure heart is placed on me, and I can call her out at any time. Her strength is not inferior to Admiral. Lin nodded. Wait, what does it mean to rely on you? You can call her out at any time. Tsunade seemed to think of something, his face changed, and he lost his composure, so that day. Lin nodded embarrassingly again, it's not a big problem. Ying is a demon god who has lived for thousands of years. I haven't seen any scenes. It's a trivial matter for us. Just like you and I watch ants. Having said that, Lin is still guilty. No way, when he was in love with Tsunade, the Yi Xinjingxi he didn't know turned out to be pinned on himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't be so rampant that he would go to Tsunade's room every day to steal food and sing songs every night. After all, whoever does this doesn't want a third party watching and admiring. To be honest, he also knew that the two-day plan was about to start, and he might need the other party's help when he contacted the other party through the system. Thinking of the indifferent face that remained unchanged for 10,000 years except eating snacks at the time of the photo shoot, and suddenly blushing because of mentioning this matter, Lin was embarrassed to death. Huh. I know all the bad things you do. Fortunately, Ying's embarrassment was also fleeting, and she soon returned to her usual indifferent and indifferent appearance. As a true god who can listen to and observe, tens of thousands of Daoqi's people at any time, what scene has he not seen? It's just that Lin and Tsunade were too strong because of their physique, which made the process too crazy, which shocked her a little. And for her who is dedicated to pursuing eternity and avoiding wear and tear, this kind of behavior that may accelerate wear and tear is simply unnecessary, and she even feels disgusted. Fortunately, the embarrassment didn't last long, and Lin quickly got back to the topic. It doesn't matter, you can call me out at any time. In fact, I don't sit in meditation all the time in Yixin Pure Land. I often read books and drink tea. Shadow says no problem. Reading and drinking tea in Yixin Pure Land. Lin was a little surprised. Looking at it this way, Ying looks like a senior home girl. Well, I occasionally read Yaido's light novels. With Ying as a backup, there is no scruples. Next, it's time to do it. Carrera Corporate Headquarters. This is a mansion with a vast area and majestic architecture. 
Bingxian, the mayor of the capital of Seven Waters, who is also the president of Carrera Company, lives here. But today in the president's office, an unexpected guest came. Your Excellency Lin, do you know what you are talking about? How can I have such a thing as a Pluton blueprint in my hand? If there is nothing else, you can leave. Bingxian shook his head and asked Lin to leave. He really didn't expect that Lin came today without warning and asked him for the design of the Pluton battleship. This shocked him, how did this Lin know that the Pluton design was in his own hands? But today is not what it used to be. He has become the president of the strongest shipyard, and his relationship with the world government is getting closer. Many things can be settled by means. What are you afraid of, mere pirates? Dear Mr. Bingxian, it doesn't matter if you don't give me the blueprint, I don't need it, I just need you to cooperate with me in a play, and this play is a good show that kills two birds with one stone no matter for me or for you, you shouldn't refuse. You don't know yet, the world government spy organization has been ambush in your shipyard for several years. Tomorrow, I will help you clean them up, and then I will announce to the world that the design of Pluton has fallen into my hands. What Lin said next made Bingxian stunned. Not only does Lin want to get rid of the spies planted around her by the world government, but she also needs to be charged with stealing the Pluton blueprints. What a self-sacrificing spirit. Wait, so what are you drawing? Bingxian couldn't help asking. Bounty. I need the world government to offer higher and higher rewards. We big pirates don't need anything, what we lack is fame. You shouldn't understand this. Lin said seriously. I understand. I heard that the pirates are ranked high and low, and sometimes they directly compete for bounties. But the design of Pluton is indeed not with me. Bingxian still denies that he owns the blueprints. This is a serious crime of beheading, and I dare not admit it. It doesn't matter, you just need to lend me an old shipyard, and call these people to this old shipyard, and leave the rest to me, I promise it will run beautifully. Lin left a list and left. Unexpectedly, they still want to attack me. World government, I really can't believe it. Knowing that people from the world government have been placed by his side for several years, Bingxian also has a headache. It seems that I can only agree to him. Huh. Bingxian picked up the list, and the first name that caught his eyes was Khalifa. Khalifa. How is it possible? Bingxian was almost speechless. This is the person closest to me, almost equal to half a confidant. I also sent someone to check the bottom, and checked it several times, but nothing was found. However, this is a spy planted by the world government. There are also foreman Luchi and Kaku are also. For these people, it is no problem to find out by themselves. Is this Lin fooling herself? But this Lin has a bounty of 500 million berry, so he can be regarded as a pirate with great reputation. For a while, Bingxian fell into silence. In the capital of Seven Waters, on the west side of South Blue, there is an abandoned shipyard named McCann. As the Carrera Company is in full swing, it has won the favor of the world government and marine, and basically snatched all the orders, and there are more and more small shipyards like this going bankrupt in the capital of Seven Waters. But here is usually deserted and quiet, but many people came today. If there are people from the Carrera Company here, they will be able to recognize these people. Khalifa, the secretary of President Bingxian. Foreman Luchi and Kaku of Doc No. 1. Huh. Why are you all here? Oops. Khalifa was the first to arrive, and she couldn't help being stunned when she saw Luchi and Kaku appear. It seems our identities have been exposed. That's right. Kaku looked at Bluno who was walking towards the door, his eyes darkened involuntarily. Even Bluno, the tavern owner, has been unearthed, the man in the dark who obviously knows all about it. If I'm not wrong, he should want to get rid of us here. Bingxian doesn't have the ability. Who is that? Lu Qi looked left and right, and said lightly, but the killing intent in the words was obvious. It seems that we are too honest and responsible, let them think we are ordinary CP. Kaku grinned. Well said. We are the strongest existence in CP. Let's have a big fight. I hope he won't let me down too much. Bluno grinned without any fear. His door fruit is a magical weapon for escaping, even if he can't beat it, saving his life is not a big problem. Hello, good afternoon girls from CP9. A voice came from the sky at this time, making Luchi and others look up quickly. It was a very handsome young man, he appeared on a high platform not far away, and looked at it with great interest. 
Wow, that's pretty cool. Khalifa sighed in admiration. Pirate Lin, offer a reward of 500 million berry. Luchi revealed Lin's identity for the first time. As expected of being the strongest among CP9. Lin clapped her hands and said, then, our performance has officially started. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.